taken away from this experience going through the conference slate and also even going back to the non-conference games? Well, we, we had some guys, like I said, we had injuries. So we had other guys that had to step up and play and play play against really good competition. They had to play against Valley View, who is, I think, ranked third, and I think Mills was ranked second So in, in 5A. So, you know, our guys that had to step up and take some places of guys that got injured, you know, it, it, it's going to make a huge impact on, for us the rest of the season because we can put them in there and know they've been battle-tested. So, uh, you know, it, and getting everybody else healthy, you know, m- makes a difference where you can rest somebody here, rest somebody there, and, you, you know, there's not going to be much of a drop-off. So, you know, uh, Blyvel and then going into the postseason, you know, we're excited about it. There's going to be some, some really tough teams, but, you know, you got to play them sometime. So, you know, we're ready for whatever happens. All right, thank you, Coach, and good luck this week against the Chickasaws. Thank you very much. And now back to the top five in each classification, beginning with 4A. Number one, Warren shut out the Helena Cougars last week and will look to finish out their regular season undefeated at Hamburg. Number two, Malvern beat a solid Nashville scrapper squad last week and will play at Badger Stadium in one of the biggest games in 4A versus the Arkadelphia Badgers. Number three, Harding Academy is coming off a win versus Heber Springs and look to remain undefeated against the Cavemen of Cave City. Elkins also looking to remain undefeated after blowing out Gentry last week. They will travel 45 minutes to play the 7-2 Lincoln Wolves. And number five, Arkadelphia has been hot ever since their September 22nd win versus Nashville, and they beat Fordyce last week, extending their winning streak to five. They look to make it six against the number two team in 4A, Malvern. Well, Chase, Arkadelphia and Malvern, it's going to be a great game. It is. It's the Washita River Rumble playing for the belt in that one. So it's a trophy game, but also you're looking to claim that conference title this week and get the top seed in the bracket. If you win the 4A7 this year, you get home field advantage throughout the playoffs. So a lot is on the line in that game between the Badgers and the Leopards. Yeah, these teams don't like each other. Should be great. We'll be back with 3A and 2A after this timeout. The Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas's team of over 2,000 employees has one mission, deliver reliable, affordable, responsible power to 1.2 million members across Arkansas. But closings of baseload power plants across America are making this tougher and tougher. We believe in intermittent resources like wind and solar, but the sun doesn't always shine and the wind doesn't always blow. A balance of power game plan that includes every energy resource is a must to keep that Friday night lights bright. The Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas. I'm Rex Nelson. Outside of the state's natural beauty, the thing that strikes me most as I travel Arkansas is the junk in yards and trash along the highways. In a place that markets itself as the natural state, we've too often been guilty of, at best, ignoring our natural treasures, at worst, polluting and littering them. Let's take pride in our state by keeping it litter-free. Visit KeepArkansasBeautiful.com to get involved. This message brought to you by this station, the Arkansas Broadcasters Association, and the Keep Arkansas Beautiful Commission. Your best life begins with your healthiest life. At Baptist Health, you'll find the comprehensive care you need for every person in your family. From pediatrics to primary care to women's health, we're equipped to partner with you in every phase of your wellness journey. You'll also find Baptist Health locations and clinics across the state, ensuring we're always there for you when and where you need us. Learn more about the state's most trusted name in healthcare, locate a clinic, find a provider, and more at baptist-health.com. We all have our traditions, from Friday night lights to Saturday morning hunts. These are the traditions we pass down to the next generation. Now, we might have hung up our cleats a long time ago, but come tomorrow morning, we can still put on our camo and hunter orange, because some traditions last a lifetime. Get your hunting license and enjoy a season of memories, both on the field and in the woods. This message is brought to you by the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission. Hunt natural. 
Once a year, Saracen gives away a coveted BMW to one lucky winner. This month is that special time, and you could be the winner of an amazing BMW X5 SUV from Saracen Casino and BMW of Little Rock. Play to win a top-of-the-line BMW SUV only at Saracen Casino Resort. Just a short 40 minutes away, Saracen Casino is Little Rock's closest place to play and win a BMW X5 SUV. Saracen Casino Resort, Vegas, Arkansas style. Gambling problem? Call 800-522-4700. Simmons Bank, nominated by Forbes magazine as a top U.S. bank, takes great pride in investing in our friends and neighbors. For more than 100 years, we've worked to make our customers' dreams come true, earning trust with convenient and reliable financial tools, checking in savings accounts, home and consumer loans, small business loans, and low-rate credit cards. Wherever you are on your financial journey, we're there with you every step of the way. Simmons Bank. Member FDIC, equal housing lender, subject to credit approval. What does it feel like to know it matters to others how you're doing? What's weighing on your mind? That you're happy right now, that your body's healthy, and that those around you are taken care of too. Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield has been taking care of Arkansans for more than 70 years, providing health insurance and peace of mind. So you and the ones you love can live your best life your whole life long. Take good care, Arkansas. The University of Central Arkansas delivers more than you ever imagined. So many programs, lots of housing options, top facilities, and opportunities for the future. All more accessible than ever. It's the full college experience of your dreams with everything from city attractions to outdoor adventure. And it's just an easy drive away because UCA lets you take on college your way. Are you ready for Bear Country? Get started now at uca.edu. Welcome back to the Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas High School Game Day Show. In 3A, Prescott is at number one following a 27-0 win over Smackover. This week, the Curly Wolves host Horatio. Salem is at number two after surviving a 16-6 defensive battle at Perryville. Up next for the Greyhounds, it's a home matchup against Quitman. Camden Harmony Grove is at number three following a 55-6 victory over Lakeside. This week, the Hornets will look to put a bow on a 3A6 conference title at Barton. Boonville is at number four and is looking to stay undefeated in conference with a home matchup against Cedarville. Last time out, the Bearcats defeated Lavaca. And at number five, it's the Hoxie Mustangs. After defeating Osceola last week, this week Hoxie will host Walnut Ridge. Now on to 2A. Mineral Springs is still number one after a 58-22 win at Poen and will face the undefeated Murfreesboro Rattlers in a game that will ultimately determine who will be the top seed in 2A. Number two, Hazen is coming off a win versus Bearden, who will host the Carlisle Bison in a top five 2A matchup. Number three, Bigelow remains undefeated after a win versus Conway Christian for their final regular season game. Number four, Carlisle beat England last week, and as I mentioned, they're facing Hazen in a top five 2A matchup. And then rounding it out at number five is East Poinsett County. They're coming off a win versus Desarc and will host the 7-1 and one Mark Tree Indians in their final regular season game. For our Arkansas Brighter Futures 5-2-9 game of the week, Chris, we alluded to it earlier. It's that heavyweight matchup in central Arkansas between Bryant and Conway. A lot of storylines going into that game. A conference title is on the line. Bragging rights are on the line. It's going to be a fun matchup. That's going to wrap up this week's edition of the Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas High School Game Day Show. We hope you enjoyed our program, and be sure to tune in at 10 o'clock for the Simmons Bank Friday Night Scoreboard Show on this station. From 10 to midnight, Rex Nelson and Nate Olson will give you the latest scores and updates from around the state, as well as the newest Rex's Road to the Rock rankings. Tonight's broadcast has been brought to you by Simmons Bank. UAMS Health, Orthopedics, and Sports Medicine. Arkansas Delta Byways Regional Tourism. The Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas. Hot Springs. Keep Arkansas Beautiful. Saracen Casino Resort in Pine Bluff. The Arkansas Scholarship Lottery. Arkansas Brighter Futures 529. Lion College. Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield. The University of Central Arkansas. Arkansas Game and Fish. Roller Funeral Home, Southern Arkansas University in Magnolia, Murphy Arts District in El Dorado, Washita Baptist University, and the Great American Conference.
The DeQueen Leopards are on the air. DeQueen Leopards football, proudly presented by Gentry Chevrolet, online at gentrychevyinc.com. Nobody beats a Gentry deal. DeQueen Auto Group, our area's Ford, Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep dealer. We're Hauser. We don't just grow trees. The Woods Agency, Shelter Insurance. Are you covered? Check with Jeff Woods. DeQueen Abstract Company. We worry about the details of real estate transactions so you don't have to. Bailey Discount Building Supply. Everything for the home builder and do-it-yourselfer. McDonald's. I'm loving it. Proud to present the Leopards Player of the Game. DeQueen Church of Christ. Love, serve, grow. Pilgrims of DeQueen. A good employer and a top-notch corporate citizen. Ricky's Body Shop. Lakeside Drive. Quality auto body repair since 1982. Diamond Bank, offering sound and meaningful financial services. Chandler Funeral Home, dedicated to the care of those we serve. Adabel National Bank, where your dreams become reality. Howard Memorial, offering primary health care. Your new healthy starts here. Fun and Learn Land, preschool and daycare, Sevier County Developmental Center on College Drive in DeQueen. Southwest Arkansas Accounting Services, 990 Highway 70 East, phone 642-5900. Red River Credit Union, providing our members with savings and loan services. Wilkerson Funeral Home, putting families first since 1929. Housing Authority of Sevier County, providing safe and affordable housing. Farmers Bank and Trust, friends and neighbors helping each other find financial solutions for a lifetime. Bruce Westerman for United States Congress. Visit www.brucewesterman.com. Smiles of Arkansas Dental Center, giving you something to smile about. First State Bank of DeQueen, we're big on you. Four States Fiber, internet service you can be happy about. Visit fourstatesfiber.com and check availability. Ivan Smith Furniture in Nashville where you'll find everything to furnish your home, both stylishly and affordably. State Representative Deanne Vaughn, proud to serve Southwest Arkansas at the state capitol. And now, let's go to the stadium with Tony Stowers and Greg Revels. Good evening, everyone. Tonight's pregame show brought to you by Bristow Custom Metals, the top metal fabricators in the Arklatex. Experts in metal artwork from custom metal fire pits to metal spiral staircases, handrails, company signs, and more. CNC plasma and water jet cutting, powder coating, welding, and mobile sand blessing services available. And they are an officially licensed partner of the Arkansas Razorbacks, specializing in Razorback logo metal wall art. Get a quote at Bristow Custom Metals on Facebook. All right, we'll go to the Leopard locker room with Coach Richard Bell and the voice of the Leopards, Jay Bunyard, after this timeout. We all have our traditions, from Friday night lights to Saturday morning hunts. These are the traditions we pass down to the next generation. Now, we might have hung up our cleats a long time ago, but come tomorrow morning, we can still put on our camo and hunter orange because some traditions last a lifetime. Get your hunting license and enjoy a season of memories, both on the field and in the woods. This message is brought to you by the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission. Hunt natural. There's never been a better time to buy a new car, truck, or SUV than now at Gentry Chevrolet. With APRs as low as 1.9 on nearly everything in stock, like a 2023 Chevy Silverado at just 1.9 APR with approved credit and up to 42.50 in rebates. Come see the new arrivals of 2023 and 24 models. Take a test drive and let the great folks at Gentry Chevrolet help you in finding the right vehicle for your needs and style. Gentry Chevrolet, 1027 Highway 70 East in Queen. For a look at what's new, visit Gentry Chevy Inc. Dot com or check them out on Facebook. Simmons Bank, nominated by Forbes magazine as a top U.S. bank, takes great pride in investing in our friends and neighbors. For more than 100 years, we've worked to make our customers' dreams come true, earning trust with convenient and reliable financial tools, checking in savings accounts, home and consumer loans, small business loans, and low-rate credit cards. Wherever you are on your financial journey, we're there with you every step of the way. Simmons Bank. Member FDIC, equal housing lender, subject to credit approval. Pickup truck, sports car, motorcycle, minivan, townhouse, two-story, farmhouse, fixer-upper. What you drive and where you live is different for everyone, so it's important to have insurance that fits your needs and is just right for you. At Shelter Insurance, we understand that. 
which is why our agents help you design a comprehensive auto, home, and life insurance plan. Insurance that fits just right. We're your shield. We're your shelter. The agent Jeff Woods or agency representatives Debbie Seymour, Jennifer Walker, or Christina Carver. You're on the come up and proud of your grind, which is why the McDonald's app is your favorite app. Waiting in lines? Not great for your bottom line. So you hit the app to order ahead. Your faves are ready when you pull up and you're on your way again with the quickness. Order ahead in the McDonald's app to save time. Use the app, get large fries for a buck. We'll prep while you're on the way when you choose dine-in, curbside, or counter pickup. I participate in McDonald's. Offer valid through 12 31 This offer is only available in the McDonald's app. For over 70 years, we at the Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas have had our game face on. Our passion for delivering reliable, affordable power to every corner of Arkansas is stronger than ever. And with 17 electric distribution cooperatives, we cover more than 60% of Arkansas. That's power to more than half a million homes, farms, businesses, winter, spring, summer, and cool fall football Friday nights. The Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas, powering the thrill of Friday night lights. Jay Bunyard back at Leopard Stadium, and we're joined now by Leopard head football coach Richard Bell in our interview with Coach Bell is presented by San Juan's Automotive Repair. The diagnostic specialist can get to the source of your automotive issues with state-of-the-art diagnostic equipment combined with expertise in automotive repair. San Juan's also offers electrical and engine repair, suspension lifts and repair, brakes and transmission services on all makes and models. San Juan's Automotive, one mile north of the 7071 Junction on J.B. Logan Circle. And Coach Bell, uh, what a determined effort last week at Magnolia. We won the turnover battle 3-0. to zero. Your defense led by Jake Martin, Ulysses Cotto, Jonathan Mahina, Kyle Williamson. I, I felt like the whole defense really swarmed to the football most every play. I thought, you know, that was one of the most complete games we played on offense and defensive side of the ball. I thought the defense uh, scheme that we put in was there. I thought the boys were in, in positions to make plays every time. The two big test sounds they had, we were, uh, you know, blown coverage, just kind of, you know, uh, sucking too much up on the run, you know, instead of taking the pass. Uh, man, I thought offensively, the offensive line, a bunch of times I watched some film, they're blocking guys 10, 15 yards down the field and getting a pancake. Uh, double teaming running backs are hitting the holes. You know, I, I just thought it was one of the most complete ball games we've played. Yes. Quick look ahead to your off-season program, Coach. I know we went from zero members in your 1,000-pound weightlifting club to 14 members last off-season. Uh, what are your plans and goals as you look ahead beyond tonight's game? Uh, I've added a, a couple things. Me and Coach Binkley have been talking. You know, I, I always want to be competitive. I don't want you just to be lifting weights, be lifting weights and trying to reach, you know, a goal of a max. So, uh, you know, bringing back the 1,000-pound club whenever I was a kid was a big thing, and the kids really enjoyed the shirts. Uh, but I'm going to add one more thing. I'm going to try to take them to uh, powerlifting competitions uh, so they can see how they, uh, you know, stack up against other lifters in the, in the state, not necessarily just in football, but it would give them something in the spring, those guys that don't necessarily play basketball. Or, or baseball. It gives them some type of sport to look forward to, not just football. So we're going to try to do a powerlifting few competitions if I can get them in on that just to try to get those boys motivated for, for just more than max reps. Interesting. Are you moving some freshmen up tonight, Coach? I know last year Kyle Williamson, Jake Martin saw a lot of playing time as ninth graders and they're looking like future stars now as sophomores. Uh, can we look for any of the ninth graders tonight? Yeah, we... Uh, we moved him up this week. Uh, I had Coach Dykes uh, tell him, you know, I gave him the choice, and I went in there and talked to him. You could go move up to basketball. You can move up to senior high football. Uh, or you can just go to offseason with junior high. You know, it's kind of your choice, and I pretty, pretty much think it was unanimous. Every single one of them are going to move up. Uh, we, you know, look at them through practice, see how they're going to do, maybe step in for us. So, uh, you know, if we do have some injuries or somebody go down, uh, there, there's a possibility that you could see one of those guys out there tonight. All right, we'll look forward to that. Give us a scouting report on uh, Trey Outlaw's Arkansas Razorbacks. As you mentioned earlier in the week, a much improved club from a year ago with nice wins over Arkadelphia, Magnolia, and Hope. Yeah, uh, again, you know, very much improved. Uh, they have a big crop of seniors, a lot of returning uh, starters. Uh, you know, so 
they have guys that can run down the field and just basically just run off and leave you. Like they showed against Hope, they just ran four verticals. Quarterback laid it up and caught it 50 yards down the field. The receivers, you know, they, number seven is really good. Number four is a, a stud receiver. Uh, the quarterback, you know, uh, on he loves to run zone read and power read. So he'll read that defensive end. If he's flying up on the on the motion, then he'll keep it. You know, so uh, we have to be disciplined, make sure that we take both quarterback and running back. Got to make sure we don't have blown coverages because if, if we do, they will burn us. Uh, I think that we can uh, pretty much stop their run. We just got, we have to worry about getting on that pass. Uh, we have great corners and DBs. We're just undersized. We always have guys in the right position, but everybody uh, just seems to be a little bit taller on us and go up and get the ball. So maybe we can make a play on the ball and double team the guys that uh, we think can go up over us. Well, and finally, uh, we'd be remiss if we didn't mention the seniors on senior night. I know, as you said earlier, bittersweet moment for you and your seniors. And I know you want them to, to see them go out with a well-deserved win here tonight. Yeah, I, I can remember, uh, not necessarily my senior night, but my last night playing at Leopard Stadium uh, with my senior year was third round of the playoffs against Boonville, uh, and we lost on Leopard Field. Uh, so, you know, it's always bittersweet, you know, to see these guys go, and I know that I left Leopard Stadium on a loss, but not overall. I left it on a big win, you know, in the places, you know, always welcome me back, and, and I really enjoyed Dequan. I hope these boys have that same feeling, win or loss, tonight that they always have that open arms of Dequan. We'll have them back at any time. Well, Coach, we appreciate you so much. You've always been very cordial with us all year long uh, with your time and doing these interviews, and uh, just want to wish you the best of luck against the Razorbacks tonight. I appreciate it. Go Leopards. All right, that's Coach Richard Bell and our visit with Coach Bell presented by San Juan's Automotive Repair. Why waste time and money on mechanics who replace parts to rule out the problem when you can have San Juan's diagnose the problem and fix it right the first time? Located one mile north of the 7071 Junction on J.B. Logan Circle, open 8 to 6, Monday through Friday. Greg, Tony, and I will be back with more pregame from Leopard Stadium following this timeout. Smiles of Arkansas is committed to providing quality dental care and oral health education to children and adults. At Smiles, patient trust, comfort, and satisfaction are among their top priorities. Smiles of Arkansas Dental Centers are staffed with highly skilled general dentists, hygienists, and friendly staff to offer you the quality dental care you need and deserve. Smiles accepts our kids and most other dental plans. Smiles of Arkansas Dental Center, located in the Cultural Awareness Center in downtown DeQueen. Call 642-SMILE, 642-7645. Legendary coach Paul Bear Bryant from Fordyce, Arkansas once said, It's not the will to win that matters. Everyone has that. It's the will to prepare to win that matters. Congratulations to all the players and coaches who have put in the hours in the summer, in the weight room, in the film room, and on the practice field. I'm Congressman Bruce Westerman, and I approve this message because high school athletics prepares for victories on and off the field. Paid for by Westerman for Congress. Over the past century, Diamond Bank has worked hard to provide our customers with the best in financial services. We're proud to call DeQueen home and enjoy serving the community any way we can. When it comes to financing, let our experienced loan officers help you purchase, refinance, or remodel your home. Fix up your rental property, expand, or begin a new business. Whatever the need, our financial team will be there for you. Diamond Bank, Colin Ray Drive in DeQueen. Online at diamondbank.com. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. I'm Rex Nelson. As a native Arkansan, I take pride in our state's natural beauty. And as someone who has been in all 75 counties, I've seen how prevalent litter is across our state. It's time for people to clean up our state for those who live here and to enhance Arkansas's image for those wanting to visit. Let's clean up Arkansas. Visit KeepArkansasBeautiful.com to do your part and get involved. This message brought to you by this station, the Arkansas Broadcasters Association, and the Keep Arkansas Beautiful Commission. Howard Memorial Hospital is proud to bring you the latest in robotic surgery technology, meaning faster recovery times and better outcomes than conventional surgery. We're excited to offer the same level of care, expertise, and systems found at larger health care centers around the country. To learn more or to schedule an appointment, visit our website, howardmemorial.com, or call 845-3757. Howard Memorial Hospital, providing the best care for you and your loved ones. I love my church family. Amo a mi familia de la iglesia. I love my church family. I love my church family. 
At the Decream Church of Christ, we are a community of Jesus followers. We are not a group of perfect people, but our glory is in the cross of Jesus Christ and the saving power of his grace. Our church family has a relaxed nature with a passion for sharing Jesus. We would love to see you this Sunday at 10.15 a.m. or check out our website at dqcoc.com. It's finally football weather. As we roll into November, we've got a nice, cool evening here for senior night at Historic Leopard Stadium as the Queen Leopards get set to close out the 2023 season against the Razorbacks from Arkansas High School in Texarkana. Hello again, everyone. I'm Jay Bunyard. Be calling the play-by-play for you again tonight. Joining the booth, as always, by our good friend, colleague, and former Leopard, Greg Revels, and uh, Greg, everybody kind of bundled up tonight. It's because to get to week 10, we finally got some nice, cool weather. I tell you what, you couldn't have had a more perfect day and a great night for high school football tonight. Uh, the, the weather's cool. you got to wear a little jacket, but that, that's football weather, Jay. Uh, we don't get to play in it much anymore, but but it's it's good weather. And, and looking for a really great outing by the Leopards tonight. They, they played well last week in, uh, in the loss to Magnolia and – you know, I said it at the time, and I'll, I'll say it again right now. I think if they play like they did last night, uh, Texas Canada's got a fight on their hands. Well, let's hook up now with a third member of our broadcast crew down on the field, my other good friend and colleague, <laughs> Tony Stowers. And, uh, Tony, you're all bundled up tonight. Describe your attire for us. I'm four layers, and I've got <laughs> I've got uh, something on my ears. Uh, if my if my ears are warm and my hands are warm, I'm usually okay. So that's 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 the strategy tonight, uh, keeping warm. Kind of hard to write all those numbers, Greg, when you've got gloves on. Yeah, it there. is, and then those Mickey Mouse ears. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to roll right in to our leopard injury update now. It's brought to you by Dr. Kenneth Erickson at Simply Chiropractic. Simply Chiropractic and the Queen and Broken Bow provide one-on-one personalized patient care both in English and Spanish. Dr. Kenneth Erickson offers light adjustments, pediatric and pregnancy care, acupuncture and cupping, pharmaceutical-grade nutrition, and more. Relieve your pain the non-invasive way. Request an appointment today by calling 469-224-0222. Tony, it's uh, about as healthy as we have been in a while tonight. Probably as healthy as we've been since week one. Only uh, Leopards out tonight. Of course, Jackson Manwinkle's been out all season with the uh, with the foot, and Larry Labra, about three games ago, broke his leg. Other than that, every Leopard is dressed and uh, and ready to play tonight. All right, that's your injury update brought to you by Dr. Kenneth Erickson at Simply Chiropractic, just north of the 7071 Junction in Dequane. Well, while the seniors are clearing the field here on senior now, let's go ahead and take a look at tonight's starting lineups brought to you by Twisted Tines Outfitters, just north of the 7071 Junction. Twisted Tines Outfitters, your hunting, fishing, camping headquarters, located in Queen, just north of 7071 Junction, where you can shop for new hunting rifles, get your gun or bow serviced, and stock up on hunting and fishing essentials, unique home decor, gifts, and jewelry. Stop by Twisted Tines Outfitters and check out their new dead air silencer shop kiosk, or visit them on Facebook for updates, new arrivals, and all things outdoors. You know, Jay, uh, gun season starts for the youth hunt this this weekend, and then one weekend from now, be modern gun season. So it's busy time up there at Twisted Tines, and they're ready for all your hunting needs up there. And besides football weather, they're finally getting a little deer hunting weather in here as well. Leopards uh, line up their slot backs will be Ulysses Cotto, who's rushed for 317 yards on the year, and Donovan Esther, who's rushed for 295 yards on the season. The quarterback will be Cole Binkley, a 5'11", 175-pound junior, and the fullback will be senior Gareth Cantero, number 42. The wideouts will be Lance Wise, number 31, and Trent Matthews, number 14. And across the Leopard offensive line, the tackles will be Logan Chandler and Kanan Billingsley at 210. The guards will be Jeremiah Cotto at 210 and Esteban Alvarez at 210. And the starting center tonight will be Will Collins, Another senior, Will, goes checks in at 240. And uh, for the Razorbacks of Arkansas High, they'll go with four wideouts, DeAndre Russell, Telly Wells, uh, J- Javon Davis, and Gabriel Braggs, 
Their quarterback will be Nate Wall, and their running back will be Tony Noble. And across their offensive line, the tackles, Shiloh Young at 182, and uh, also Justin Canada. The guards, Brandon Nguyen at 260, and Isaiah Ivey in the center is Grayson Nairns, 230-pound sophomore. Those are your starting lineups. Brought to you by Twisted Tines Outfitters, just north of the 7071 Junction in DeQueen. Back with more pregame from Leopard Stadium following this three-minute timeout. Accidents happen. Ricky's Body Shop can repair your dings or accident damage with results that speak for themselves. Ricky's Body Shop makes it easy, affordable, and reliable. They accept all insurances. You have a choice when it comes to repairing your vehicle, regardless of where your insurance company recommends. Plus professional home, auto, and commercial glass repair and replacement. It's Ricky's Body Shop, Lakeside Drive in DeQueen, 870-642-2811. Once a year, Saracen gives away a coveted BMW to one lucky winner. This month is that special time, and you could be the winner of an amazing BMW X5 SUV from Saracen Casino and BMW of Little Rock. Play to win a top-of-the-line BMW SUV only at Saracen Casino Resort. Just a short 40 minutes away, Saracen Casino is Little Rock's closest place to play and win a BMW X5 SUV. Saracen Casino Resort, Vegas, Arkansas style. Family problem? Call 800 522 4700. Wilkerson Funeral Home, proud to be a sponsor of this Leopards broadcast. Just like the Leopards, Wilkerson Funeral Home has always been a proud, strong part of our community. For years, the Wilkerson family has been serving families in southwest Arkansas. They understand that each family member and every life remembered are uniquely different from any other. Putting families first and ensuring that each life is properly honored is their promise to you. Wilkerson Funeral Home, dependable and professional service since 1929. Supporting the Dequeen Leopards, it's a Wilkerson Funeral Home. Are you looking for a friendly and reliable bank? Turn to Idabel National Bank, where we offer an array of banking services for all your financial needs. Since 1921, Idabel National Bank has offered a variety of savings and checking accounts, financial planning, and lending services, including consumer, business, and home loans. Here at Idabel National Bank, we take pride in our customer service. So if you're looking for exceptional financial services, make sure to stop by Idabel National Bank on Southeast Washington Street in Idabel. Idabel National Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. DeQueen Auto Group has a full line of rental vehicles to suit any need. They carry full-size cars, minivans, SUVs, trucks, and passenger vans. Their roomy 12 and 15 passenger vans are perfect for family and church trips or sporting events. They also have reasonable price vehicles for insurance claims. Call their rental department at DeQueen Auto Group, 870-642-3604, option 6 for details. DeQueen Auto Group, proud sponsors of this year's Leopard Sports Broadcast. Your best life begins with your healthiest life. At Baptist Health, you'll find the comprehensive care you need for every person in your family. From pediatrics to primary care to women's health, we're equipped to partner with you in every phase of your wellness journey. You'll also find Baptist Health locations and clinics across the state, ensuring we're always there for you when and where you need us. Learn more about the state's most trusted name in healthcare, locate a clinic, find a provider, and more at baptist-health.com. National Anthem by the award-winning DeQueen High School Marching Leopard Band here. Countdown to kick off eight minutes on your number one country, 92.1. Let's take a look at some of the other games around the area tonight and tomorrow night. Brought to you by the Queen Auto Group. Our area is and Ford, 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 High School. Ford, Ford. Well, in other games tonight around the area, Horatio is at Prescott. Dirks is out Mount Ida with big playoff implications there. Dirks has to win by five points in order to make the playoffs. Oh, uh, Foreman is at Lafayette County and in a big, big game in, in 2A. Mineral Springs and Murfreesboro square off tonight. Both undefeated teams, Jay. Nine and oh, both yep. of them on the season. Yep. Friday night, games in the area. Waldron and Mina square off for that last playoff spot in, in their conference. Lone Oak is at Nashville. Camden Fairview in our conference is at Little Rock Parkview. Good luck. Oh, boy. Yeah. Hot Springs Lakeside and Hot Springs Square Off. And Magnolia is at Hope. And in southeastern Arkansas tomorrow night, Broken Bow is at Ada. Eufaula is at Idabel. And Valiant is at, is at Hugo. Excuse me. Idabel is also undefeated at 8-0. And, oh, and uh, 
Got to love that uh, 7-4-A conference. Sabina hosts uh, Waldron tomorrow night. You win, you're in. That's you know, right. One win, get you in. That's right. <laughs> conference. That's a look at some of the other games around the area we'll be following for you uh, tonight on the Thursday night games as well as the action tomorrow night. We're going to take a look at the series history here now. It's the 22nd meeting all time between the Razorbacks and the Leopards. Texarkana's won 12, the Leopards 5, and there have been four ties over the years, including three 0-0 zero, zero ties. Here. All right, we'll go down the field. Guys, and then shake your the hands and talk. introduce each other. Mm-hmm. All right, y'all yeah, shake your hands. <laughs> Everybody doing okay tonight? Hey, good night for football. Guys, all we're going to say, we know this is the last game of the season. But, but we're not going to tolerate any unsportsmanlike. Your mouth or cheap shots. They're going to be noted. They're going to be flagged. It's going to cost your team. So let's have a good, hard football game. But clean, okay? Thanks again to you are the visitors. That's President Eisenhower. He was president when I was born. There's Liberty Bell. That is heads. That is tails. That is heads, that is tails. Yes, sir. You are the visitors, what did you call? Thanks. What did he call? Tails. He called tails. Guys, I'm going to let it hit the ground. It is heads. You want the talk. All right. Leopards win the you toss. You want the ball? Yes, sir. Okay. Y'all want to kick from the scoreboard, so you can put you back to the yeah. scoreboard. So the Leopards uh, win the toss, and they'll receive. They'll move uh, toward the south goal here in the opening quarter. That's right to left from our vantage point. I was going to say the Liberty Bell was founded at the time I was born. <laughs> I, 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 I want to note it somewhere. Tails lost again. <laughs> yes, uh, first meeting all time between these two schools, 1929. Uh, Texarkana won 12 to nothing that year. In the 30s, the Razorbacks led the series four wins to one with two ties. Two teams played in 40 and 41. Texarkana won one. We tied once. The 50s belong to the Leopards, winning four times. The Hogs won once, and there was one time. Then the last meeting prior to 2018 was in 1960. So a 58-year span between 1960 and 2018. The last two years, these two teams have hooked up, have been outstanding football games. The last time in the Queen, 2021, Texarkana escaped with a 22 to 19 victory. Uh, Leopard scored on a Dylan Williamson keeper with 8:37 to play to take a 19 to 14 lead. But after Texarkana scored, converted a two point conversion to go up 22 19. Leopards drove the field, but a, what would be a potential game tying field goal by the Leopards was no good in the final minute. Texarkana won 22 19. And last year, down in Texarkana. Leopards led 24 to 20 going into the fourth quarter, but the Razorbacks scored twice in the final nine minutes of that game to pull out a 36-24 victory. What a night it was for Trey Brown. 12 carries, 180 yards, and a touchdown. He also had 13 tackles defensively, and Cole Binkley rushed for a couple of touchdowns. So among the teams in this 5A South Conference, Greg, uh, the Leopards have really played Texarkana tough the the last two seasons. They really have uh, probably two of their best games the last two seasons were against the Razorbacks. And, and, uh, you know, I think some of that has to do with the the timing of the game. I think a lot of of kids kind of get ready to go to basketball whenever uh, they're they're out of the playoffs. And the Leopards don't ever seem to do that. They seem to be ready to go every week. And I think that's been a been a reason for the closeness of the game. Well, let's get the keys to victory now. Brought to you by SNC Tire Shop Number Two, offering new and used tires for every make and model from brands you trust, like Michelin, BF, Goodrich, Pirelli, Bridgestone, Goodyear, and others. If they don't have it, they can order it. SNC Tire Shop Number Two also offers tire and brake repair, and they are the only tire shop in the area open late seven days a week. All right, so Tony, your keys to victory tonight. I think whoever has the emotion at the outset uh, has a good shot at winning this ball game. It's important for the Leopards to come out the way they did last week. All right, Greg. Uh, my thoughts are that if they're, Arkansas High is going to throw the ball, we've got to be ready in the secondary to defend the pass. All right, that's your keys to victory brought to you by S&C Tire Shop Number 2 on Lakeside Drive. Bilingual services available. And tonight's opening kickoff brought to you by Declan Self Storage because everyone needs a little space sometimes. 
Queen Self Storage West offers a variety of self storage units ranging in size from 5x10 to 10x20 with easy access off Collin Ray Drive. Also, the Queen Self Storage North has 10x15 to 10x20 units, with some of those being climate control. Call now. Brenda Sullivan, 870-582-1846 for more info. And the Razorbacks try an onside kick, and we're underway. I don't believe it covered 10 yards, did it, Tony? No, we were going to get the ball about the 47, 48-yard line. Wow. Nice break for the Leopards as the onside kick fails to cover the 10-yard distance, and the Leopards are going to start first at 10 at the Arkansas High. 48-yard line. So Cole Binkley and company with great field position to start this game. They're going to start out in the flex bone. Katero the fullback. Esther and Cotto the slot backs. Here comes Donovan. Has a seam. 45. Down to about the 42-yard line for a pickup of six on first down. Good job there. Dangerfield on the tackle for the Hogs. Second down and four. Leopards at the Razorback 42 yard line. A receiver comes out to each side. They'll stay in the flex bone with Binkley underneath center. It's a quarterback sneak. Binkley bounces off the first uh, would be tackler, but then gives ground and he's going to be tackled at the 41. So it looked like he had pretty good yardage there, Greg, but then uh, bounced off a would be tackler, tried to make a big play out of it. He paid for yeah, he did. Cut lost a couple of yards there when he tried to come back and go back forward again. So it's a big third and three at the Arkansas High 41-yard line. Binkley hands off to Cotto. Coming left, slips one tackle, and he's going to duck inside the 40 to about the 39-yard line where he'll be about a yard shy of that first down marker. I got to figure we're going to go for it here, Greg, on the fourth and a yard at the Razorback 39-yard line. Yeah, we yeah this is this is four-down territory for us, and we we're gonna go for it. They're bringing in a heavy package here, Tony. It looks like. Well, you know, if anybody has scouted us over the last three or four weeks, we had some big quarterback sneaks, and they were ready for the last one. Let's see if we do it again. We're gonna go to the power eye set now, and here comes the running back, Luis Sotelo, slips a tackle all the way down to the 30-yard line. The young freshman pops it for nine. And, Greg, he rushed for 1,091 yards and 12 touchdowns in the equivalent of six games for the Cubs. He sure did. And not only was he in there, number 23 was in there, Drayden Bennett, blocking for him. I believe. First in 10 Leopards at the 30 as the young freshman. Everybody's talking about him, aren't they, Tony? Oh, I'm telling you, he's got uh, – he's just got instincts uh, – uh, that you that you can't coach. He 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 moves moves in the hole. He stays behind a blocker when he needs to. He's just he's one of the best instinctual runners I've seen. I know Greg would agree with that. Yeah, he he's just a great runner. Drayden Bennett is in there now, as Greg mentioned. They'll leave it with the last man through. That's Donovan Esther, and he'll get about a yard down to the 30 yard line. We're gonna bring up second down and nine. And plus, Tony, the uh, Luis getting about nine days off here to rest that uh, high-sprained ankle that plagued him. What would he have ran for had he not sprained his ankle? <laughs> wow. That, that, well, he, he did that in six games. All right. Satello again lowers his shoulder. He's going to get inside the 30, and he'll fall forward to about the 27-yard line. Pete, that was Pete Luke Pierce. Pierce. I'm sorry, Luke okay. Pierce in there, 18, number 10. And so Luke's going to get three, and it's going to bring up third down and six. This drive began for the Leopards at the Arkansas High 48-yard line after the onside kick to start the game. Leopards now looking at third and six at the Arkansas High 27-yard line. Cotello back in now into that power eye. Power eye said with Bennett and Cotero up front. Toss sweep to oh. Cotello, and it's a bad pitch. Luis just goes back and alertly falls on it. They're going to spot it at the 39-yard line, so that's going to be a loss of 12. Well, you hate to give that toss yardage to the young freshman there, Tony. That's going to be a team loss. Okay, I, I like that idea better. Now the Leopards will probably play field position and send the punting unit out on the field. 
Lance Wise will drop back in punt formation. It was a promising drive, but the bad snap on the pitch. And now they're going to snap it over the punter's head. Lance Wise goes back. It's a loose football picked up by Arkansas High. He'll be tackled at the 26-yard line. Coming out of there with it will be number nine, McQuan Trailer. Jake Martin on the tackle for the leopard. Just no way Lance Wise could get to that football. Way over his head. And when he tried to pick it up, he got hit by a razor back, and, and then another one came picked up. Lucky that Jake Martin was there to tackle him. So with 8.22 to go opening quarter, that's worse than a turnover, Greg. <laughs> yeah. Wow, from our from the Arkansas High 40 all the way back to the Leopard 26. That's where Arkansas High will start. Their quarterback is Nate Wall. He's a senior. He's got a nice touch. They're going to bring two receivers split out to each side now. Wall wants to throw the football. Down the middle it goes. It's going to be caught for the Arkansas High touchdown. As the receiver coming out of the shadows there will be uh, Wells, number four, four, I believe. So yeah, four, number four. Play covers 26 yards from Nate Wall to Telly Wells. And, boy, that's a quick turnaround with 8.16 to go in the opening quarter. Leopards were driving. On to attempt the extra point will be Boya. And the right-footed soccer-style kicker, no good, off to the right. So the score remains 6 to nothing. Texarkana, kickoff in one minute. Are you ready for fiber to the home Internet service? Four States Fiber is in the process of building a network to reach every Southwest Arkansas Electric Cooperative member, bringing one gig fiber Internet service to homes and businesses with unlimited data, free installation, and no contracts. From high school sports to the hogs to the pros, stay in the action as you stream your team to victory. Visit fourstatesfiber.com and click on Check Availability for more information. Four States Fiber, Internet service you can be happy Happy about. Ivan Smith Furniture carries the most popular brands to create comfortable and stylish living spaces. From special orders on your favorite brands to accessories, appliances, and mattresses, rest easy knowing Ivan Smith has you covered. Visit our website, ivansmith.com, and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Ivan Smith Nashville. We invite you to stop by and experience the service you deserve. Located in the Furniture Corner in downtown Nashville. Let us help you bring it home with Ivan Smith Furniture. All right, uh, bad snap on the punt. And the Razorbacks make the Leopards pay quickly there on that 26-yard pass from Wall to Telly Wells. They'll kick it deep this time. Back to the 20, 25. Bahina gets it out to the 29-yard line. Nice return. By John John Bahina, who's averaging almost 19 yards per return on the season. That's about what that one was. Yep. Close. Maybe, maybe a 20-yard return. They put him on the 30. So that's where the Leopards will start, and they trail six to nothing after a promising drive ended on a bad toss on the sweep, and then the Leopards snapped it over the punter's head. And Texarkana leads six to nothing. Here comes the running game again across the 30, out to about the 33 yard line will be Cotto. Give me forward progress to about the uh, 34 yard line. So give Cotto four, second down and six. Yeah, that Razorback scoring drive was one play. Walls to Wells, 26 yard TD and extra point fail. Razorbacks lead six to zero. And the Razorbacks really crowding that line of scrimmage, Greg. They've got uh, 10 guys within five yards of the football. Leopards will run the slot back again. That's going to be Cotto, and he'll get across the 35. Out, oh, that's Beakley keeping. I'm sorry. And Cole will pick up about three out to the 37-yard line. We're just going to bring up a big third and three. Big play right here early in this game, Greg. Need to move the chains. Yeah, we really do need to keep the chains moving and keep our defense off the field, especially at the start of the game. Leopards break their huddle, come to the line of scrimmage with 20 seconds on the play clock. Flex bone set. 
And Esther takes the handoff, comes around the 35, and he's going to be dropped at the 35. Donovan will lose two as he attempted to run wide on the Razorbacks, and the Leopards will have to put it away again. Brought down there from Mangerfield. When you run sideways and try to go backwards and get around people, they just do quick for us, Jay. They can't, we can't do that. Yeah, they're getting just too much penetration up front. We'll drop it back deep. For well, the Razorbacks will be number four. That's Wells who caught the touchdown pass from to go. Good snap this time. And Wise will get a foot into it. It's going to bounce at midfield and roll out of bounds at the Arkansas high 45-yard line. So that's where the Hawks will start with 6-10 to go. Opening quarter, and the Razorbacks lead it 6 to nothing. If you've ever bought or sold a home, farm, or business, you know how important it is to have an experienced professional on your side to handle the closing. The Queen Abstract has been making real estate transactions go smooth for many, many years. Whether you're buying, selling, or refinancing, trust the Queen Abstract Company. I do. Proud supporter of the Queen Athletics, Queen Abstract Company. Call them at 870-642-2533. Arkansas High empties the backfield. They'll flush Wall out of the pocket. He's the midfield. Leopard 40. He's to the 30 down the far sideline. Still on his feet at the 10. Touchdown, Arkansas High. 55 yards. The Razorbacks have scored two touchdowns on two offensive plays, Greg. Doesn't take them long, does it, Jay? Wall with a great run there. 55-yard run. The Leopards came with a blitz and forced him out of the pocket to his left. And then he had a second gear, didn't he? He well, did. Hogs are going to go for two now after missing their first extra point. And they'll throw it. And it's going to be incomplete. Broken up by Wise there. Good play by Lance Wise. So with 5.57 to go, opening quarter is Texas count of 12. The Queen Hunting back for the kickoff in one minute. Southwest Arkansas Accounting Services, formerly Revels and Company CPA, is the same great people offering you the same great services, just under a new name. Go see Sandra and Fernando for all your accounting needs and questions at 990 Highway 70 East in Queen. They're about more than just the numbers. They're about helping people get it right. Personalized service that their clients expect and deserve. Bilingual services are always available at Southwest Arkansas Accounting Services. Phone them at 642-5900. Not only is Pilgrims a good employer and a top-notch corporate citizen, employing over 1,400 employees locally and 322 contract growers in Sevier and surrounding counties. In fact, the total economic impact that Pilgrims has in southwest Arkansas is over $80 million annually. With the processing plant in Queen and the feed mill and hatchery in Nashville, Pilgrims is a good corporate citizen. Apply today at the HR office in Queen. Pilgrims is an equal opportunity employer. The kick will bounce over Jonathan Bahina's head at the 10-yard line, but fortunately for the Leopards, it rolls out of bounds, so the Leopards will get the football out at their 35-yard line. Yeah, good job by John John that time to let it go. Uh, it I'll tell you, it took a lot of guts to let it go. It did. It did. But it, it, but if he had picked it up, he had been in trouble too. Yeah, you're right. They list John John at 5'6", and that football bounced way over his head. There. So they're going to put it at the 35. So that's where the Leopards will start their third offensive series of the night, and they trail 12 to nothing. They need to get some offense going here. They're going to start out in the power I set this time, and Cotto will dot the eye. Bigly underneath center. Cotto gets the call behind right guard, runs into the back of his blocker, and Kind of down wedges it out for a couple line. to the 37 yard line. We're going to bring up second down and eight. And yeah, he just ran in the back of Cortez and just, and and just knocked we'll himself let... down, didn't he, Jay? That's what it looked like to me. Yeah. He make that quick cut left there. You got a lot of daylight. Mm -hmm. Stay in the power I set. Second and eight from the 37. We're going to leave him with a fullback this time. Cantero, and he has a nice. 
running room up across the 40 to about the 42-yard line. So it's going to be a pickup of five as they hand it to the up back that time. And now the Leopards once again looking at a makeable third and three. Good run by Pintero that time. I think this is their best success, Greg, just trying to run it between the tackles. Yeah. And they're going to run between the tackles again, and they're going to be short of the first down as uh, Cotto is going to be knocked down just shy of the 44-yard line, where it's going to bring up fourth down and a long yard. That's going to be a game of field to play. Well, decision to make here. Leopards trailing 12 to nothing, and looks like they're going to roll the dice on fourth down. Cole Binkley checks in with the play. You know, kind of get him to jump, I think. Okay. Nope, no, snap it. Cotto has the first down and more across midfield all the way to the Arkansas High 49 yard line. Pick up on seven, and that'll move the chains for the Leopards. Good run by Cotto that time. He did take that little jaunt to the left that he didn't take earlier and found some open room to run. So the Leopards right back into Arkansas High Territory, first and 10, just inside the midfield strap. They're going to stay in that power eye set. And Cotto will try the left side this time, and he's going to get down to about the 45-yard line. Nice pick up there on first down. Yeah, that, that power eye seems to be working well for him tonight, Jay. Cotto's been the workhorse, Tony. He's already got six carries here midway through the opening quarter. Yeah, and uh, having some success. You know, they're in the middle of that defense, as Greg pointed out. Tough to run east and west on these guys. Stay in the power eye. Here comes Cotto again, and he has a slumble, but fumbles the football, and the Razorbacks are there to claim it. Number 40 comes up with a loose football loss and drop. Wow. Here's a the play. Well, Greg, we won the turnover battle last week at uh, Magnolia. But uh, three to nothing. First time all season that we had won the turnover battle. Four to nine, the Leopards shooting themselves in the foot. A bad snap on a punt led to a score. And now they turn the ball over at the Texarkana 43-yard line. Yeah, Cotto was running hard. Good run. Couldn't hold on to the ball at the end of it there. Texarkana scored twice on two offensive plays from scrimmage. They empty the backfield wall in the shotgun. Surveys the defense, takes a snap, looking left. Now he's going to be stepped up in the pocket, slips a tackle across the line of scrimmage, and finally dropped at the 46-yard line. Held to a three-yard gain that time. That's sort of a moral victory to let him move the ball. That's right. Number 71 that time, Darian Henderson on the tackle, uh, along with Lance Wise. Good job by Henderson. Razorbacks go without the huddle. They've got two running backs in there now. And now they'll bring a man in motion to the left. Wall takes a snap, looking left, throws. Has a man at midfield to the Leopards 40 all the way down to the 37-yard line. That's going to be DeAndre Burnell on the uh, catch. And uh, he's going to pick up 17 yards and another Arkansas high first down. Brought down there by Cloto along with John John Mahoney. First and 10 at the Leopards 37-yard line. 2.38 to go, opening quarter. The clock has stopped momentarily as they set the chains. Wall, two for two. For 43 yards here in the opening quarter and a touchdown. He's also rushed for a 55-yard score. He's in the pistol. Looks over the defense, takes a snap. Throws to his right. It's caught at the 35-yard line. The receiver will be dropped at the 32. Pick up of only about five yards that time to Javid Davis. Jared Munoz on the tackle along with Luke Pierce there to help him out. Second down and five as the Hogs go fast at the between 31-yard line. He'll take the snap, flips it out to his left, complete at the 30. 
25, finally shoved out of bounds at about the 21-yard line. The receiver will be uh, number 15, okay. yep, number 15, that's Gabriel Braggs. I brought down there, Poto got a hold of him first, then Luke Pierce and John John Mahino finished him off. Another Arkansas high first down. At the Dequeen 21 yard line. Wall is in the pistol. They empty the backfield now. Wall takes a snap. It's a quarterback draw. Big hole. 15, 10, 5, all the way down the Leopard three yard line. Well, that was designed to play, Greg, and they ran it well. He ran it well, did a good job. Another first down, first and goal for the Razorbacks brought down there by Cotto. Uh, he know that assist. Minute 25 to go opening quarter. Arkansas High already leads 12 to nothing, and they're threatening again. First and goal at the DeQueen three-yard line. We're going to line up uh, with running back this time. Number 22, Jackson Cannon, will line up to Walls right now. Bring a man in motion to the right, and they'll hand off to Cannon straight ahead. And he plows forward into the end zone for the Texarkana touchdown. With 55 he seconds to go in the opening quarter, another impressive Offensive series for the Razorbacks. Score coming on a three-yard run by Jackson Cannon, capping a 57-yard drive following the Leopard turnover. Looks like the Razorbacks are going to go for two again. Wall is in the pistol, lining up to his right will be Noble. And Wall's going to roll the pocket to his right and throws. Incomplete. Incomplete. Too low. Intended for Braggs. But with 55 seconds to go in the quarter, it's Texarkana 18. Leopard's nothing. Back for the kickoff in one minute. You have questions. We have honest answers. Planning your funeral may seem like a daunting task. We know you will have many questions. We also want you to know we will answer your questions with honesty and fairness. Our prearrangement specialists will guide you through the process with compassion and dignity. Call today at 642-6461 to learn more about your options. Chandler Funeral Home of DeQueen. We're dedicated to the care of those we serve. $1.2 billion. Imagine what you could do with that much money. Well, thanks to the Arkansas Scholarship Lottery, you don't have to imagine, because we can tell you exactly what's possible. You can fund more than 720,000 scholarships for Arkansas students. Scholarships that have educated teachers, nurses, engineers, welders, computer coders, and more, changing their lives and reshaping their communities in the process. So keep playing, Arkansas, and together we can imagine what happens next. Razorbacks try another onside kick. Lance Wise recovers at the DeQueen 44-yard line. He paid for it too, Greg. He sure did. He got hammered that time. Tony said. Power I said. Here comes uh, Luis Sotelo, the freshman. He's going to get up to about the 46-yard line for a pickup of two. On well, first down, second and, eight to go for the second and eight for the Leopards. So this is invaluable uh, experience for Luis to play in a varsity football game. Yeah, it really is. Now they got John John back there. Second and a long eight. Bickley hands off to Bahina. Oh, oh wow. Boy, he hit the hole hard as he thought he saw something before the Razorback slammed it shut quickly. Had a hole closed quickly. Number 20, Rodney Kinley. Shutting down. And that last drive was a six play, 57 yard drive in two minutes and 30 seconds. The final three yards covered by Jackson Cannon. Again, the extra point failed 18 to 0 Razorbacks. And we've come to the end of the opening. Well, the Leopards are going to take a timeout. Not sure why we took a timeout there, but uh, we did because the uh, quarter was going to come to an end. But uh, we'll sort it all out. 18 to nothing. Thanks, our guy. 
back for the second quarter, I believe, after this 30-second timeout. With the low cash and carry prices and the huge selection of items you need for building and home improvements, shopping at Bailey Discount Building Supply in Queen is fun. It's no wonder that Bailey's has customers from Mena, Nashville, Ashdown, even Texarkana and Hot Springs. Bailey's is your one-stop shopping spot for hardware, lumber, plumbing, paint, and much more at everyday low prices. So get your shopping list together for home improvements and... If you're looking for a good old-fashioned southern home cooking, there's no place better than Rise and Shine Cafe in Granite, Arkansas. They offer a variety of breakfast, lunch, and dinner items in a very clean, cozy atmosphere with farmhouse decor and friendly hometown service. Rise and Shine Cafe in Granite now offers flavorful iced coffee and whipped cream for a refreshing treat. For daily specials, location, and hours, visit Rise and Shine Cafe on Facebook. You can also stop by and pick up a copy of Patty Jo Wheeler's new book published earlier this year, My Little Cody Bug, a heartfelt true story about the loss of their child and how faith carried their family through that terrible tragedy. And as Greg said, uh, we did come to the end of this first quarter. I didn't think we would call a timeout there. But uh, anyway, the Leopards are now looking at third and seven from their own 46-yard line. Quintero gets the call, and Gareth is going to, Get it out uh, for a couple of more yards, out to about the 49-yard line, but he's going to be about five yards short of that first down mark. We're underway here in the second quarter with the Razorbacks leading 18 to nothing, and Leopards will send the punting unit back out on the field. The Leopards moved the ball on a couple of drives in that first quarter. Munoz is punting. Munoz out there punting, okay? Senior. And uh, they're going to jump off sides. So the Leopards will get a first down, I believe. It's going to be close. It, it is going to be close. And they're going to get it to the first down, Leopards. And uh, I believe that's the first penalty of the game against either team. It results in the Leopards first down. We'll take it. So the offense comes back out on the field, and the Leopards in Razorback territory for the third time tonight, but nothing to show for it yet. We'll go back to a flex mode from the 46-yard line. They'll run the option left, and the fullback is just going to be stuck at the line of scrimmage. And zero is well, Arkansas the High scrimmage by winning the trenches up front. That's number 50, Greg. He's a big old boy. He hits Kitts he, Griffin. He is, and we made him mad a while ago. <laughs> and was he, he the one that jumped? Yeah, well, I don't know if he jumped, but he took it. He, a couple of plays ago, he, he and uh, Jeremiah Cotto got into it. Yeah, he, he took umbrage. Yeah, he, he did take umbrage <laughs> with that. I don't think we want to make him mad. No, he's a big old dude. Second and ten. He'll run the option right again. Binkley tries to get outside, and he's hammered. Fumbled he fumbles it. the football. Arkansas High scoops it up at the 40, and he gets a block, and he's off the races. Ten, five. Touchdown, that's going to be the second fumble recovery of the night for Lawrence. Lawson Wright. Leopards turn it over again. This is going to be a 50-yard scoop and score for the Razorbacks with 10.25 to go in the half. It just seems like nothing goes right some days, Jay. Man. Bad snap over our punter's head. Two fumbles now. The Leopards having trouble protecting the football. You know, I keep hearing that fight song over there, and I keep thinking about the Razorbacks, Jay. The Razorbacks, not these guys. Well, hopefully, the Razorbacks play this well on Saturday. That's right. Wall yeah, back out there. They'll go for two. Noble, the running back to his left. He wants to throw a football, and it's going to be caught, but he's going to be stopped short of the well, of the goal line as Ulysses Cotto made a nice play. Good job by Cotto to keep him out of the end zone. 24 to nothing, Razorbacks. Kick off in one minute. Hi, I'm Lori Taus, CEO of Sevier County Medical Center. I want to take this moment to extend our 
gratitude to the community for their continued support of our new and greatly needed hospital, to our Board of Governors who informed court, and to our patients and all of those who helped pass the hospital sales tax measure. Thank you for your support of Sevier County Medical Center. We are a community-centered health care facility with a goal of ensuring the health and well-being of Sevier County and all of Southwest Arkansas. Thank you for helping us make our community both stronger and healthier. At Weyerhaeuser, our vision is to work together to be the world's premier timber, land, and forest products company. Frederick Weyerhaeuser, our company's founder, once said, This is not for us, nor for our children, but for our grandchildren. Nearly 120 years have passed, and we've been growing, harvesting, and regrowing forests on a continuous cycle. We manage the most sustainable, versatile, and renewable resource on Earth, our forests. Yeah, 54. Kyle Williamson's going to recover the outside kick for the Lepers, and the Lepers are going to get good field position again. First and uh, 10 at their own 48 yard line. Jake's field position hadn't been a problem for the Leopards, or moving the ball hadn't been as hanging on to it. Yeah. You know, they just, uh, of course, snap, a snap over the head, which I consider a turnover. Um, and then those, uh, those other two fumbles just. Dropped them. Well, the power I set and uh, breaking a tackle is Cotto. He fumbles the ball again at the 43, but this time the Leopards get on it, I think. I think they're calling him down. Well, maybe not. Arkansas High came up with a football, and they're going to give it to the Hogs. Another turnover. Nice gain of eight yards that time by Cotto, but he fumbled the football again. Wow. I thought they'd already signaled into us. Yeah, but one of the officials did signal the Queen's way. All right, so the Razorbacks, after the Leopards, third fumble of the night, will take over at their 44-yard line. With 10.04, Wall's going to roll right and throws incomplete at midfield. Intended uh, over on the far sideline to uh, Brad. First incomplete pass of the night for Wall. He was 4-4, four 4-4 four, four for 4 prior to that attempt. Second down and 10. Razorbacks at their 44. Two receivers put out to each side. Wall in the shotgun. A man in motion to the left. They're going to toss it ahead to number seven. That's Javid Davis, and he's in the 40. The 30 down the near sidelines. One man to beat. Cuts back at the five. Touchdown, Arkansas High. 56 yards with Javid Davis. That actually goes as a completion. Correct. From Wall to Javid Davis. Boy, the Razorbacks making it look easy. And, of course, the Leopards really helping them out with turnovers. 56-yard pass from Nate Wall to Javid Davis. Now they're going to try to kick the extra point. Yeah, and they do. So it's 31 to nothing. Texarkana back with the kickoff in one minute. Looking for a bank that cares about you and your community? First State Bank is your community bank. We're involved in our community because that's important to us. That's what local businesses do, and we're a local business too. Visit us to see how you can join the First State Bank family today. You'll even get a free gift if you join because that's local banking done right. Terms and conditions apply. First State Bank, member of FDIC, equal housing lender. A lot of cities claim to be unique, but are they really? Were they the off-season playground for legends like Babe Ruth and Al Capone? Do they sell beer made from thermal spring water that comes straight from the ground below? Do any of these places have a street that has a gangster museum on one side of the road and a national park on the other? Let me go ahead and answer that for you. They don't, because none of them are Hot Springs, Arkansas. For more info, visit hotsprings.org. Razorbacks moved 56 yards in two plays. They've scored on some big plays tonight. 
three leopard turnovers and a bad snap on a punt have led to four Razorback touchdowns. And I believe Arkansas is going to be off sides on that on side attempt. Yeah, so it, they've had they've had up drives of one play, one play, two plays, and six plays, Jay, for their four scores. It's a much improved Arkansas hot team. They were four and six a year ago. If they win here tonight, they seem to be well on their way. They'll go six and four this season. That, you know, you don't think that's much improvement. And in the conference we play in, that's a lot. Yep. <laughs> and they've been in a lot more games. Have you Yeah. I have a chance to go three and four in the league. We we'll kick it deep this time, and Bahina will take it at the 20. He's across the 30, 35, 40. Makes a man miss at the 45, up to about the 48-yard line. A fine kickoff return there by John John Bahina. So with 9.38 to go in the half, Leopards need to uh, hold on to the ball. Yeah, hold on to the football. Three fumbles here. Huh. Tony was telling us a couple of games ago the most he could ever remember a negative turnover margin was minus 20. We did good last week. We got one and three to none and got it down to minus 15, but already three turnovers tonight. The fullback is pretty good yardage across the field in the Razorback territory down to the 46-yard line. That's going to be Quintero. Going to give Gareth five. That's going to bring up second and five to go for the point. Second down and five. Like McCain Smith got up a little slow. McCain just got cleared to play today. Yeah. Second down and five at the 47. Binkley hands off to the tailback Esther. He gives ground and runs into the back of his blocker and he's not. I have a late hit, on, late late hit on number zero. Sure. It's going to be a loss of two on the carry, however. Let's sort out that flag. It's, again, it's going to be personal foul against the Razorbacks. So that's going to be a first down for the Leopards. That's going to march it deep into Razorback territory. Mister's hurt. Second flag of the night against the Razorbacks for 20 yards. Spot it, mark it off from the end of the run, which was about the midfield stripe. Still waiting for the official to mark it off. Now they'll step off 15 against the Hogs. Should put it all the way down to the Texarkana 35 yard line. There it is. First and 10 Leopards at the Texarkana 35-yard line. See if we can punch it in here. Get some momentum on our side. Kodo will dot the eye. Ulysses gets the call left guard, has a little seam, and he'll fall forward to about the 30-yard line. He'll pick up five on first down. And you know, Greg, uh, one thing we're watching tonight is Cotto's uh, tackles on defense. He lacks seven to go over the century mark for the season. Yeah, and he, he's got four so far. Doing, doing a good job on defense. So he's up to 97 tackles on the year. Power I set. Cotto again will try the right side this time, and he'll get across the 30 down to about the 27-yard line for three more. Is this going to bring up third down and two? I like the way we're being physical up front and running this power up, but uh, just got to hang on to the football. Yeah, I mean, that's killed us this half, Jay. We, you know, we moved the ball well, actually. Third down and two. They'll stay in the power up. Kodo gets the call. He'll try the left side. Has the first down and more inside the 20. All the way down the Arkansas high, 17-yard line. You pick up 10, and that'll move the chains for the Leopards. And that game's good enough for another. The Green Leopards first down. Fifth first down of the night for the Leopards. 
And DeQueen in the red zone now at the Arkansas High 17-yard line. Stand at power I set, freshman Drayton Bennett and Luke Pierce, the fullbacks. Cotto will dot the eye. Here comes Ulysses behind those two fullbacks, and he'll get inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line for a pickup of three more. Second down and seven. If I were going to run, Jay, I'd love to run behind Drayton Bennett and Luke Pierce. I know they're going to hit somebody. <laughs> yeah. Cotto's running really hard right now. He really is. He's hitting the hole hard. Luke Pierce is like one of those heat-seeking missiles. That's account. <laughs> exactly right. Second down and seven. Cotto again. Cuts back to his right. He's inside oh. the 10, all the way down to the five-yard line. This is Cotto. Takes the ball again. Pick up of nine, and that'll move the chains for the Leopards. First and goal at the Arkansas High four-yard line. So give him 10 on that carry. Another good run by him. He just saw a hold to the right and, and darted into it. Five carries for 31 yards on this drive. Uh-oh. And this time, Cotto. Flag. We've got a flag thrown in late. Cotto going to be stopped after short yardage. And sort all this out. He got down to the three, so he picked up a yard, but we've got Yellow hankies everywhere. Still no signal from the referee. Holding against the lefties. Oh. You get a first and goal to go at the four-yard line and get called for holding. First penalty of the night stepped off against the Leopards. Where was the hold at, Tony? Uh, I don't know, because they're not, if it wasn't behind the line of scrimmage, they should mark it from where it was. You know what I mean? You're correct. I don't, I don't know. So it's first and goal from the 14 now. Let's see if the Leopards can overcome the holding penalty. Bahina checks in there now at tailback. John John gets the call, gets a kick out block. But, boy, the hole closed quickly by the Hogs at the 12-yard line. That's number 22 Bahina there. takes the handoff over the Queen. Well, he came out of nowhere, 22. Jackson Cannon. Jackson Cannon. I, I was following that in my binoculars. It looked like uh, John John had a nice hole on that left side, and poor Cannon just came out of nowhere. But that's what happens when you stack the line. Like that. He's actually playing linebacker on the opposite side where that play was run. Cotto back in there now. Ulysses gets the call inside the 10-5. Touchdown, what a run by Ulysses Cotto. With 5.51 to go in the half, the Leopards are on the board on the 12-yard run by Ulysses Cotto. They trail now 31-6. to They'll send the kicking unit on. As the kicker tonight, so will be number 21. That's Angel Gonzalez, who's 3-for-3. Three three. An extra point attempts this year. Jake Martin will hold. Long count. Uh, we've got a flag from finally. Hard to hold your water that long, Greg. You need to get up there and snap it. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what the intent of it was. A five yard penalty. Gonzalez with a strong leg, though. Five yards shouldn't make any difference for him. Hate to jinx him, though. Right footed soccer <laughs> style kicker. Mark will hold. Good snap. The set. The kick. It's long enough, and it's good. 5.51 to go in the half. It's Texas County 31 to Queen 7. Kickoff in one minute. It's football time again, and Farmers Bank and Trust is ready to help you through this season of life. From My Start Savings Accounts to School Spirit, with those Snapchat filters, Farmers Bank and Trust is here to cheer your family on. Find us in Queen. Welcome to Farmers Bank of Queen, Or any location and come home to Farmers Bank. To learn more, go to myfarmers.bank or stop by a branch today. 
Farmers Bank and Trust. Member FDIC, equal housing, lender. Little Rock is where you'll be amazed by everything that awaits every member of your family. Explore sites like the Little Rock Zoo or hike to the top of Central Arkansas at Pinnacle Mountain State Park. Learn about the world around us at the Museum of Discovery. And at the Central Arkansas Nature Center, you can see alligators up close right in downtown. You can tour the Oval Office at the Clinton Presidential Library and walk in the footsteps of civil rights pioneers at historic Central High School. One experience and you'll be big on Little Rock. Learn more at LittleRock.com today. Andrew Gonzalez will get a foot into it. It's going to be a little pooch kick. And it's as loose. I think the representative, John John Bahina. Arkansas High says they have it. They got yeah, he got it back. Arkansas High recovers at the forty one yard line. What John John had a shot at him and just couldn't come up with it. Yeah, Mike and Thompson covered it up for the Razorbacks. Good good effort by the Leopards there on that onside kick. Leopard scoring drive, nine plays, fifty two yards, the final twelve yards run in by Ulysses Cotto. Uh, extra point good by Gonzalez in three forty seven. Cotto with six carries for 43 yards on that drive. Razorbacks lead the Leopards 31 to 7 with 5:40 to go in the second quarter. Leopards did get a stop here, get some momentum. First and 10, Razorbacks at their 41-yard line. Turnover would be nice, Jay. Yes, it would. Unusual formation here, delay and a delay of game pitch. I think we we're going to see a, some kind of gadget play there, Greg, and some confusion on the Razorbacks. Yeah, part. it looked like it. it. Just took them too long to get down there and get ready. Five-yard penalty. We'll move it back to the 36-yard line. The Razorbacks travel to Florida Saturday, 11 o'clock kick. Airtime, 8 o'clock right here on 92.1. First and 15. Wall will throw complete at the 45-yard line. John John Bahina had his sight set on that one, but just couldn't come down with it. Well, he had it right in his hands, Jay. How many plays this year would John John have made if he was 5'11 instead of 5'6? That was that was one right there just over his head. Man, he, he, plays, he plays so much bigger than he is. Second down and 15 at the 36-yard line. Running back in there now is... Zephaniah Black, I believe he's a sophomore. They line up to Wall's left, and they're going to hand off to Black. He's at the 35, makes a man miss across the 40. He'll be dragged down at about the 43-yard line. So it's going to be a pickup of seven for Zephaniah Black. So it's going to bring a third down and about eight, Greg. Big play for the Leopard defense. Yep, Munoz on the tackle there with Luke Pierce. Third and eight to go. They need to get a stop here as the Razorbacks look to their sideline to get the play from head coach Trey Outlaw, who came over from El Dorado. Two receivers put out to each side. Now Wall will stand up and look back to the sideline. He's audibleizing. He'll bring Braggs in to line up in the slot left, and Wall wants to throw over the middle. It's going to be incomplete at the 45-yard line, and the Leopard defense gets their first stop of the night. Even if he'd caught that, Jake Martin was out there all over, and he wouldn't play the first round. Leopard's going to get the ball back. A little less than five minutes to go in the half. They're going to kick it away. Nobody back deep for the Leopards, and that ball is going to bounce a while. Inside the 10, and it's going to be down at the DeQueen five-yard line. Wow. 52-yard punt. With a big roll on the turf. So Ulysses Cotto has got 70 yards rushing in the first half. Maybe in with 165. That would be nice. He's had, he's had a good junior campaign. The Leopards leads us in tackles with 97. You know, looking back through the defensive stats, 2011 season, Cam Threadgill had 102 tackles for the Leopards, but he did that over 12 games. Ulysses has a chance to better that in 10 games. Going to try to wedge it out, get a little 
room to work with, but uh, Kodo's held to about a one-yard gain out to the six-yard line. We'll bring up second down. Kodo's been the workhorse here in the first half. We've seen the promising young freshman, Luis Sotelo, get a couple of carries for 11 yards. Led the Cubs with 1,091 yards rushing and 12 touchdowns of the season. I hadn't seen him in a while. Power, I said, because Kodo's got the hot hand. They're going to leave it with a fullback for short yardage. Maybe the seven. Uh, lost eight, eight, lost eight, eight, wow. Back to the original line of scrimmage, the five yard line. The Arkansas High made an adjustment during that uh, last break and they're starting to plug the middle a little bit better here, Greg. Leopards had some success running right at them. Well, you hate to have to punt from here. That's for sure. Binkley's underneath center, power I said. And cutting back for short yardage out to about the nine-yard line will be Toto. Toto. Ulysses gets four more. But the Leopards will have to send the punting unit on as we're inside three minutes to go until halftime. Well, you got to credit Arkansas High, Greg, with that great 52-yard punt. Pit yeah. is deep, and uh, we're a little... Scared to try much of anything down well, there. Yeah, it's, five hard, yard line. it's hard to when you're that far. You got to be very conservative. And now we got Munoz back punting. I wonder if something happened to Lance Wise, Tony. Have you seen him on defense? No. It's a low snap, but Munoz will get it out of there. It's he a low. Like the Rangers. Yeah, no, it, it, hit a, it hit an Arkansas pop player. Oh, we could have got. But they pick oh. it up. <laughs> and at, they'll mark it at about the between 37 yard line. But. Uh, we had a shot at recovering that one. So they're going to put it at the between 39 with 2.28 to play. The Razorbacks still have all three timeouts remaining. Yeah, Jared Munoz fielded that like he was the third baseman for the Texas Rangers. <laughs> well, Wise got popped pretty good on that onside kick that he recovered. Hope he's okay. Walls in the pistol. Takes a snap. Looking down the middle. Firing. And it's going to be caught at the 10-5 touchdown. Takes our cannon to Joe Wells. 38 yards. Perfect throw by the sinker. Nate Wall with 2.20 to go until halftime. Extending the lead to 37-7 with the PAT pending. He had a step on the leopard defender. Oh, wall hit Wells perfectly for the second time tonight. Extra point by Boya is good. And it's 38 to 7, Texarkana. Kick off in one minute. Accidents happen. Ricky's Body Shop can repair your dings or accident damage with results that speak for themselves. Ricky's Body Shop makes it easy, affordable, and reliable. They accept all insurances. You have a choice when it comes to repairing your vehicle, regardless of where your insurance company recommends. Plus professional home, auto, and commercial glass repair and replacement. It's Ricky's Body Shop, Lakeside Drive in DeQueen, 870-642-2811. year model for your next ride with an auto loan from RRCU. Now is a great time to pre-qualify for your auto loan from RRCU with great rates and flexible terms. Apply online at rrcu.com with approved credit rate and term based on year model amount, finance, and credit score. Think new year model for your next ride with an auto loan from RRCU, federally insured by NCUA. Mahina takes the kick at the 11-yard line. He's going to get back out to the 20, and that's where the Leopards will start. They've got 207 with which to work here in Tulap time. The danger field on the tackle for the Razorbacks that time. John John tried to cut across the field. He does a lot better when he just runs up the field. 
Well, let's see if the Leopards uh, are content to run out the clock. Remember, Arkansas High does have all three timeouts remaining. Photo's coming out. It's like Donovan Escher is going to be running the hill back. Boy, the Razorbacks have had what? Uh, two one play scoring drives? Three. Three one play scoring drives. The tailback gets the call, slides outside to his left across the 20 out to about the 23 yard line. That will be Esther on the carry, and the Razorbacks are going to use that first time out. I believe. Or do we? No, they call time. Okay, timeout Razorbacks with a minute 49 to go until half. 38 to 7, Texarkana. We're back in one minute. State Representative Deanne Vaught is proud to support the DeQueen Leopards, Ashdown Panthers, Horatio Lions, Foreman Gators, Dirks Outlaws, and the Arkansas Razorbacks. Representative Vaught reminds us that our children are our future. Please continue to support all our area schools. Southwest Arkansas is a great place to live and raise our family. Deanne is proud to represent District 87 in the Arkansas House and proud to support this broadcast for the football fans in our area. Are you looking for a place where your educational journey can truly thrive? Southern Arkansas University has helped thousands of people like you earn a degree. At SAU, it's not just a university, it's a supportive community dedicated to your success. Explore the accredited programs SAU has to offer, led by experienced faculty who are passionate about your growth. From business and biology to education and engineering, SAU provides a comprehensive educational experience. Join the legacy of excellence at Southern Arkansas University and take the opportunity to shape your brightest future imaginable. Your journey starts in Magnolia, Arkansas. Down Following the Texarkana timeout, they've got two left. The Leopards looking at second down and about six. The ball just shy of the 25-yard line. Power I set. Binkley to Cotto going to be hit in the backfield, but he fights for yardage across the 25, out to about the 27-yard line, and the Razorbacks could use their second timeout. We'll take one, two, 38 to seven hogs. We're back in one minute. Smiles of Arkansas is committed to providing quality dental care and oral health education to children and adults. At Smiles, patient trust, comfort, and satisfaction are among their top priorities. Smiles of Arkansas Dental Centers are staffed with highly skilled general dentists, hygienists, and friendly staff to offer you the quality dental care you need and deserve. Smiles accepts our kids and most other dental plans. Smiles of Arkansas Dental Center, located in the Cultural Awareness Center in downtown DeQueen. Call 642-SMILE, 642-7645. Howard Memorial Hospital is proud to bring you the latest in robotic surgery technology led by our experienced surgeons, Dr. Bertrand Vaji and Dr. Mark Sutherland. Our surgeons now have access to state-of-the-art equipment for hernia repair, colon resections, gallbladder removal, and appendectomies. To learn more or to schedule an appointment, visit our website, howardmemorial.com, or call 845-3757. Howard Memorial Hospital, providing the best care for you and your loved ones. There's never been a better time to buy a new car, truck, or SUV than now at Gentry Chevrolet. With APRs as low as 1.9 on nearly everything in stock, like a 2023 Chevy Silverado at just 1.9 APR with approved credit and up to 42.50 in rebates. Come see the new arrivals of 2023 and 24 models. Take a test drive and let the great folks at Gentry Chevrolet help you in finding the right vehicle for your needs and style. Gentry Chevrolet, 1027 Highway 70 East in Queen. For a look at what's new, visit Gentry Chevy Inc. Dot com or check them out on Facebook. I went back to action following the time out here. The Leopards looking at fourth and about two as the Razorbacks will use their final timeout of the first half. So it's 38 to 7 Texarkana. We'll be back after this 32nd timeout. At Ibel National Bank, we encourage you to use your skills to make a positive impact in your community through volunteerism. A world of kindness comes from people just like you who care by volunteering. Community service is so important to us at Idabel National Bank. And working together, we can make our dreams become a reality. Idabel National Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. 
Well, Texarkana now out of timeouts, but the Leopards looking at fourth and two will have to punt it away as Munoz standing back at his own 15-yard line. A high snap, but he'll get a foot into it. It's a short kick. It's going to hit at the 50, and it'll be downed at the Arkansas High 45-yard line. So that's where the Razorbacks will start, and they're a score away from invoking the sportsmanship rule. They lead by 31. I think that's their plan, don't you, Jay? I think that's the way they've tried to draw it up over there. Let's see if the Leopard defense has other ideas. They used all three timeouts to get the ball back, and they have a minute 24 with which to work, and that's an eternity for Nate Wall, the way he's thrown the football tonight. Trips to the right, and he'll throw it to the right. Little bubble screen, completed the 50, 45, down the far sidelines to the 30, shoved out of bounds. We'll see where they spot it. And number three, Burnell. Basic Burnell will right get down to the 25 that. yard line. So that's a pickup of 30 line. yards from Wall to Burnell. And he's got great speed. Jacobs Munoz on the tackle. Right now. First and 10 at the 25. Wall wants to throw again. Now flushed out of the pocket to his left. Squares up, throwing for the end zone, chipped away, incomplete, almost intercepted. Got up the goal line. back at about oh, the 35. Man. Intended Renovo is equal yeah, weight broken up by Donovan Esser. We have a penalty on the field. Penalty against the Razorbacks. The offense. We move them back 10 yards. I, I, you know, this may sound crazy to you guys, but I would almost take the play and take a down away from Main's first down. What do y'all think? I, you may be right about that. I think the down means more than the yard. I, I tend to agree. Well, you know, down at the 25-yard line, I, I think you've got to move them back here. Anyway, the Leopards do take the penalty. Arkansas High penalized four times for 35 yards now. The ball back at the 35. Wall's going to roll right, firing downfield, and it's going to be incomplete at the goal line. Good coverage back there by Munoz. Jared Munoz back there, Jakers and Jared both back there. And it's going to bring up a uh, second at 20. Clock stops on the incomplete pass with a minute four to go until intermission. A Tectarkana touchdown invokes the sportsmanship rule in the second half. Wall tried to draw them off sides. The Leopards do a good job holding their water there. Wall audibilizing now, brings a man in motion to the right, takes a snap, looks right, throws complete at the 35. Breaks a tackle at the 30, 20, 15, and he'll be. Did he get in? Flag. They're going to say he stepped out of bounds at about the yeah, one yard line. But let's see the line, we do have a flag what the flag the is. He's out of bounds. Coming back. But for now, he's got some speed on that little tunnel screen that they like to run out there. As he broke a tackle, it was off to the races. Well, that's a four-yard pass completion, then the 10-yard penalty, Tony. Correct. If they do it correctly. <laughs> We're going to do it correctly. So the Razorbacks. I didn't talk about this. Okay. Now, five flags for 45 yards. Well, they'll step it off from the spot of the foul, which was the DeQueen 31. Back 10 yards to the 41, and according to Greg and Tony, I believe they got it right. They did. So now it's second down and a long. Hey, the long thing I play. said about the taking the down, that wouldn't apply to this, this situation. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not after Burdell shoved out of bounds at about the one yard line. Now Wall looks to the sidelines. They got to get all the way down to the 15 for a first down. So it's second down and about 26. The ball at the Leopard 41 yard line. The ball will empty the backfield now. Takes a snap. Flushed out of the pocket to his right. He's going to run. 40, 35, 
and knocked out of bounds at the 34-yard line. Wall will scramble for about safe, way short of the needed yardage on the first down. And that'll bring up third down with 48 seconds to go. Jake Martin will tackle for the left there. We got somebody down. It's, uh, it's a Razorback. I think it's Wall. Boy, it is. That's, that would, uh, it, it's, a, it's a shame when any young man gets hurt, but but uh, he's having a good ball game. He's having a good season. Uh, senior quarterback for the Razorbacks. He's not. So, he's not. There he's moving his legs now. So we've got a timeout on the field on the injury. It's 38 to 7, Texarkana. We'll be back after this 30 second timeout. If you've ever bought or sold a home, farm, or business, you know how important it is to have an experienced professional on your side to handle the closing. The Queen Abstract has been making real estate transactions go smooth for many, many years. Whether you're buying, selling, or refinancing, trust the Queen Abstract Company. I do. Proud supporter of the Queen Athletics, Queen Abstract Company. Call them at 870-642-2533. Back to action as Nate Wall assisted off the field on the far side. I believe their backup quarterback is number 10, William Dunbar. Yeah, that's who was warming up over there, Jay. So Dunbar has seen some action this year. He's thrown the ball about 15 times. Trips to the right for him. He's going to look down the middle, has all day. Now he's going to air it out for the goal line. One-on-one coverage, jump ball, and it's a touchdown. Wow, Dunbar to Wells, who makes his third touchdown reception of the night. That one covering 34 yards. And uh, Just a jump ball situation, Greg, and the Razorbacks come down with it with 41 seconds to go in the half. Munoz right there in coverage. I mean, I really couldn't have done anything else. Uh, Just better athlete getting the ball. And the extra point is good. And it's 45 to 7, Texarkana. Kick off in one minute. Children grow up so fast, but it takes just a moment to plan for their future and their education. Start saving today for your child or grandchild with the Arkansas Brighter Future 529 plan. Save for college, trade school, or even pay down student loan debt. Brighter Futures start today. Visit BrighterFutureDirect529.com. To learn more about the Arkansas 529 plan, its investments, objectives, risks, and costs, read the official statement at BrighterFutureDirect529.com. Paid for by the Arkansas Section 529 Plan Review Committee. Sevier County Developmental Center provides habilitative training to developmentally disabled children and adults to enable them to become self-sufficient. We currently serve 59 children at Fun and Learnland, our daycare preschool, and 35 adults between the adult day habilitation and waiver programs. We employ 62 full-time and 18 part-time employees with a payroll of nearly $1.9 million. About 97% of our employees live in Sevier County, putting the money right back into our community. Severe County Developmental Center, College Drive in DeQueen. And the return out across the 20 to about the 23-yard line. Bahina again. He's kind of fearless on those kick returns. He's done a good job running back those uh, kicks this year. He's fearless running them back as well. He just <laughs> he just uh, he just goes full speed. Whatever he's doing, he's going full speed. Uh, Razorback scoring drive five plays sixty nine yards. The final forty three coming on a pass from Dunbar to Wells. Hester will try the right side, gives ground. That's a no no. Now he reverses the field. Another no no. He's hit for a big loss all the way back to about the seventeen yard line. I'm going to lose six. Tried to make something big happen. If nothing else, that will allow the Leopards to run out the half as we're down to eight seconds to go. And the Razorbacks are going to go into the locker room with a 45-7 to lead over the Leopards. Turnovers. Hey, that's a good the Leopards here. Bad snap on a punt. 
with just about uh, any mistake a team could make, the Leopards did in that first half. The scoreboard indicative of that as the Leopards trail by 38 at the break. Let's go down on the field now with Tony Stowers. Coach, played hard, and turnovers had a big impact on the first half. Yeah, I don't think we could have started off with the worst 12 minutes of the game. You know, had a snap overhead, gave up big plays, dropped the ball on the ground. Uh, by the time we calmed down, it was just too late. But all we're going to do now is buck up down and play hard like Leopards. Good luck, Coach. Thank you. Reminiscent of the Mina game, Greg. We're just uh, really most <laughs> anything that could go wrong did that yeah. first half. You know, the only difference is, we, you know, we kind of held them that time. If you remember, I, I think that we had a snap over our head and uh, and uh, then a fumble, two fumbles, and they only had like 10 points, maybe, and it could have been a lot worse. Well, it's our Airy Mac Life Team 73 halftime show. Now housed at the new Sevier County Medical Center in the Queen Area Tech Life Team, the leading provider of emergent air medical transportation services, offering a large number of air ambulance spaces with memberships balanced across 320 locations in 38 states with a pilot, flight nurse, and flight paramedic 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, ready to respond to the scene of a medical emergency or to transport patients between medical facilities. Memberships are available for only $99 a year and cover everyone in your household. Your membership crosses state lines, so you are always covered and could save you tens of thousands of dollars in an emergency. For more info, visit Aerivac Live Team 73 on Facebook or call Lori White at 870-925-1269. All right, we'll be back uh, to take a look at the first half scoring summary and some halftime stats following this three-minute timeout. Ready for a music tour through the Arkansas Delta? Let's see. Johnny Cash Boyhood Home? Check. A new rockabilly exhibit? Check again. A live broadcast of the country's longest-running blues radio program? We've got it. The bronze bust of Levon Helm? On the list. Find these spots and more as you travel the Arkansas Delta Music Trail. Go to the new deltabyways.com to see all the driving tours through the Arkansas Delta Byways region. This ad paid with state and regional funds. First State Bank has been serving our area's farmers for almost 50 years. Poultry loans are just one of the many types of agricultural loans that we offer. We understand the agricultural business because we're local, just like you. Stop by any of our branches and speak with a loan officer to see how we can help you meet your agricultural needs. We also offer livestock, farm equipment, farm service agency, guaranteed, and participation loans. Now that's just one of the many benefits you get when you bank with a local community bank. First State Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Legendary coach Paul Bear Bryant from Fordyce, Arkansas once said, It's not the will to win that matters. Everyone has that. It's the will to prepare to win that matters. Congratulations to all the players and coaches who have put in the hours in the summer, in the weight room, in the film room, and on the practice field. I'm Congressman Bruce Westerman, and I approve this message because high school athletics prepares for victories on and off the field. Paid for by Westerman for Congress. Are you ready for fiber to the home internet service? Four States Fiber is in the process of building a network to reach every Southwest Arkansas Electric Cooperative member. Bringing one gig fiber internet service to homes and businesses with unlimited data, free installation, and no contracts. From high school sports to the hogs to the pros, stay in the action as you stream your team to victory. Visit fourstatesfiber.com and click on check availability for more information. Four States Fiber, internet service you can be happy about. At Warehouser, we're experts at using trees to offer a sustainable solution for shelter, hygiene, packaging, fabric, plastics, and other products you may not expect, while also providing recreation, wildlife habitat, and other important ecosystem benefits. And we do it the right way so our forests will last forever. If you would like to explore our rich history of innovation, expertise, and strong values, visit our website, warehouser.com. 
In 1976, the poultry processing plant in Dequeen employed 450 people. Today, Pilgrims employs more than 1,400 locally. Pilgrims is proud of the strong growth that our company has enjoyed over the years. We strive to be good employers with top-notch employee benefits, competitive wages, and excellent advancement opportunities. Pilgrims continues to grow and expand in Sevier and surrounding counties. Apply today at the HR office in Dequeen. Pilgrims is an equal opportunity employer and a good corporate citizen. We're at the half of the Airy Vac Life Team 73 halftime show, and it's Texarkana 45 to Queen 7. A quick look at the scoring summary after the Leopards had a bad snap on a punt, 26 yard pass from Wall to Telly. The extra point was no good. The Razorbacks led 6 to nothing. Then Wall broke loose on a one play. 55-yard run. The try for two failed to make it 12 to nothing. Then after another leopard fumble, the Hogs moved 57 yards in six plays. A score coming on a three-yard run by Jackson Cannon. And Texarkana led 18 to nothing at the end of the opening quarter. The uh, tough luck continued for the Leopards. A 50-yard scoop and score by Lawson Wright extended the lead to 24 to nothing. Then after another leopard fumble, 56-yard pass to wall to Javid Davis. Hey, Boya's extra point made it 31 to nothing. Then the Leopards got on the board. 52-yard drive and nine plays capped on a 12-yard run by Ulysses Cotto. Angel Gonzalez's extra point cut the Razorback lead to 31 to 7, but the Hogs ended the half on a 38-yard pass from Nate Wall to Telly Walls. Telling Wells, and then a 34 yard pass from William Dunbar to Telly Walls. That makes a halftime score Texarkana 45 between seven. We'll be back to take a look at some first half statistics on the Airy Back 73 halftime show following this three minute timeout. Your husband is pretty handy to have around. He makes the world's best mac and cheese. Lunch is ready. He's in the Tickle Monster Hall of Fame. <laughs> and he can teach anyone how to throw strikes. But a busted pipe and a basement full of water? Honey, I think we need a plumber. He's a little out of his league. That's where a homeowner's policy from Shelter Insurance comes in handy. We'll help get your house back in order and your husband back to what he does best. <laughs> <laughs> the agent Jeff Woods or agency representatives Debbie Seymour, Jennifer Walker, or Christina Carver. Southwest Arkansas Accounting Services, formerly Revels and Company CPA, is the same great people offering you the same great services, just under a new name. Go see Sandra and Fernando for all your accounting needs and questions at 990 Highway 70 East in Dequeen. They're about more than just the numbers. They're about helping people get it right. Personalized service that their clients expect and deserve. Bilingual services are always available at Southwest Arkansas Accounting Services. Phone them at 642-5900. We all have our traditions. From Friday night lights to Saturday morning hunts. These are the traditions we pass down to the next generation. Now, we might have hung up our cleats a long time ago, but come tomorrow morning, we can still put on our camo and hunter orange. Because some traditions last a lifetime. Get your hunting license and enjoy a season of memories, both on the field and in the woods. This message is brought to you by the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission. Hunt natural. We can sum up McDonald's new crispy chicken sandwich in one word. Crispy, but also juicy and tender. Okay, it's crispy, juicy, tender. All one word, but then also pickle. Oh, and potato bun, which is two words. Okay, we can't sum up our new crispy chicken sandwich in one word, so you'll just have to try it to understand it. Order ahead on the McDonald's app at participating McDonald's. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Smiles of Arkansas is committed to providing quality dental care and oral health education to children and adults. At Smiles, patient trust, comfort, and satisfaction are among their top priorities. Smiles of Arkansas Dental Centers are staffed with highly skilled general dentists, hygienists, and friendly staff to offer you the quality dental care you need and deserve. Smiles accepts our kids and most other dental plans. 
Smiles of Arkansas Dental Center, located in the Cultural Awareness Center in downtown Dequeen. Call 642-SMILE, 642-7645. For more than 150 years, Lyon College has provided endless opportunities for Arkansas students to contribute, create, and lead in our communities. Rooted in faith, Lyon combines a traditional education with a real-world experience in a beautiful small-town setting. As a new member of NCAA Division III, we're committed to providing opportunities for student-athletes to excel in the classroom and on the field. For more information on the Lion College experience, visit lyon.edu. Lion College, a better world starting in Arkansas. We're at the half, and Texarkana leads the Queen 45 to 7. Got the alumni cheerleaders out here tonight. So Greg, that's that's a little fun. Yeah, a lot of different years there. I told Tony we even got a Razorback dance squad girl out there, Stephanie R- Romine Lynch. Yep. Out there, so a lot of fun for those, those girls, that are, excuse me, ladies now. And, and uh, I'm sure the uh, cheerleaders enjoyed that all. Yeah, Stephanie hasn't missed a beat, has she? Uh, she, she, like she, she did when she was in high school. <laughs> I'm telling you, she could have been back with the with the leopard cheerleaders of today, and no one would have known the difference. I wouldn't have again. I told you. <laughs> All right, we're at the half on the Airy Back Life Team 73 halftime show, and it's 45 to 7, Texarkana. Leopards with uh, 67 yards in total offense in the first half, all of it on the ground. Leading ball carrier, Ulysses Cotto, with 17 carries for 83 yards and a touchdown. But uh, everyone else, uh, a little slow getting on track. Gareth Quintero, six carries for 12 yards. Freshman. Luis Sotelo had two carries for 11 yards, and that's a little bit misleading. We had a lost team yardage on that bad snap on the punt, which cost us 34 yards, and then a lost team yardage on bad pitch cost us another 12 yards. So uh, in summary, 39 snaps, 67 yards on the ground for the Leopards. For Arkansas High, 94 yards rushing, and... 200, uh, 228 yards passing on the ground. Leading ball carrier, the quarterback, Kate Wall, four carries for 84 yards. Through the air, Wall was 8 of 12 for 184 yards. He was injured late in the first half. William Dunbar came in and was 1 for 1 for 34 yards and a score. The leading receiver, Telly Wells, three catches, 98 yards, and three touchdowns. DeAndre Burnell, three carries for 51 yards, or three catches for 51 yards. And Javon Davis, two catches for 61 yards, 19 snaps, 312 yards in total offense for Arkansas High in the first half. Ironically, the first down, even at seven, Leopards penalized twice for 15 yards. Razorbacks flagged five times for 45 yards. And all three turnovers in that first half committed by the Leopards. A couple of, re- of recoveries by Lawson, uh, number 40, uh, Lawson Wright. One was a 50-yard scoop and score. So those three turnovers and that bad snap of the punt led directly to four Texarkana touchdowns. And that's what's prompted the blowout here at the half. It's 45-7, to seven, Texarkana. And our halftime show brought to you by Airy Vac Life Team 73, 24-7, with pilot, flight nurse, and flight paramedic. Memberships available only $99 a year to cover everyone in your household. Go to Airy Vac Life Team 73 on Facebook or call Lori White at 870-925-1269. One two six nine. We'll be back to take a look at some other scores from around the area. Check out the award-winning DeQueen High School Marching Leopard Band as our halftime show continues in three minutes. DeQueen Auto Group is proud of their full-service body shop. Their body shop manager, Diego DeNova, can assist you with insurance claims, windshield repair, and accessories such as bed liners, side steps, and grill guards. Call the Queen Auto Group today at 870-642-3604, option 4. They're located across from the dealership next to Subway. The Queen Auto Group, proud sponsors of this year's Leopard Sports Broadcast. 
Banking locally does a lot for your community. Diamond Bank is a family-owned community bank that makes all of our decisions locally. With Diamond Bank's new rewards checking accounts, we pay you to bank with us. Earn a high interest rate or get cash back every month. Stop by one of our 15 convenient locations today and discover the Diamond Bank difference. Or visit us online at www.diamond.bank. Diamond Bank, 404 East Collin Ray Drive in Queen. Member FDIC and Equal Housing Lender. I love my church family. Amo a mi familia de la iglesia. I love my church family. At the D Queen Church of Christ, we are a body of believers on a faith journey called life. We are here to encourage each other and welcome other seekers we meet on the journey of life. Our vision at the D Queen Church of Christ is very simple and straightforward. We want to be disciples of Jesus Christ. If that is the church you are looking for, join us this Sunday at 10:15 a.m. or check out our website at dqcoc.com. The love of football defines fall weekends and in many homes our families, but it's a demanding sport that can cause injury. That's why UAMS Health Orthopedics and Sports Medicine is on sidelines and in locker rooms for high schools and colleges across the state, ready to care for athletes with Clinics in Central and Northwest Arkansas. UAMS Health, official orthopedics and sports medicine provider for Razorback Athletics and future Razorbacks all over Arkansas. Learn more at uams.health slash team. Howard Memorial Hospital is proud to bring you the latest in robotic surgery technology, meaning faster recovery times and better outcomes than conventional surgery. We're excited to offer the same level of care, expertise, and systems found at larger health care centers around the country. To learn more or to schedule an appointment, visit our website, howardmemorial.com, or call 845-3757. Howard Memorial Hospital, providing the best care for you and your loved ones. RRCU is here for you wherever you need us. Do your banking whenever and wherever you choose. Come inside any of our convenient locations and visit with our friendly staff. Check out the user-friendly mobile app and online banking. You can even call Rosie, the new improved audio teller. If you just need cash and it's after hours or on a holiday, you can stop by any of our ATM locations and have an express teller help you get exactly what you need. RRCU, federally insured by NCUA. We're at the half. It's 45 at 7. Texarkana leads the Queen. And our halftime show brought to you by Airy Back Life Team 73. Let's go down on the field now and check out that award winning the Queen High School Marching Leopard Band. <laughs> That's the award-winning Decreen High School Marching Leopard Band under the direction of Daniel Dunn and Josh Sutton. And uh, Tony will be talking with uh, the band director about their outstanding performance at the uh, state competition Tuesday at Little Rock Bull Memorial Stadium. Now then, let's get some other scores from around the area brought to you by Warehouse, the tree growing company. Okay, other games tonight. Prescott leads the ratio 56 to 0 at half. Mount Ida all over Dirks 49 to 14 at half. Lafayette County 6 to 0 over Foreman at half. And Mineral Springs and Murfreesboro are played for the scoreless tie at halftime today. All right, some interesting games 
there around the area on this Thursday night. And looking ahead to tomorrow night, we've got some uh, pretty good action on tap. We really do. we got Waldron and Mina playing for a playoff spot there. Lone Oak comes to Nashville to play. Uh, Camden Fort, Aunt Fairview gets the fun trip to Little Rock to play for uh, Hot Springs Lakeside and Hot Springs in the Battle of Hot Springs this year because I think they kind of left out. <laughs> and uh, Magnolia plays Hope. And then over in Oklahoma, Broken Bow and Ada play. Eufaula comes to undefeated Ida Bell and Valiant is at Hugo. All right, the Queen High School Marching Leopard Band finishing up uh, their halftime performance. And uh, we're going to try to get a word now with uh, band director Daniel Dunn uh, about their uh, state championship performance uh, Tuesday at War Memorial Stadium. Let's go down now to Tony. <laughs> Daniel, I'm telling you, man, uh, I, I've got to watch. One of the things about being on the sideline, and there's a lot of perks, but one of them is getting to watch your band every week, home and away. I go over to the other side and, and, and watch them when we're on the road. Sensational. They had a sensational week in uh, Little Rock this week. Yes, sir, we did. Uh, we, we completed one of our goals that we had set for the beginning of the year was get a first division at state. That's the first time in school history for state match against them that we've ever been able to accomplish that. I'm super proud of these students, how they've worked and been dedicated and pushed and not just to get to this goal. We get to this point. Well, and it seems like, I mean, first night against me, I thought they were amazing, but it seems like they've improved all year. Yes, sir, they have. They've done a lot of work. It's just we've always told our kids, let's make each performance better than the last. No matter what happens, let's just make this one better than the last one. And if you keep building on top of that every day. Thank you, Dan. You've done a great job. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. All right. Uh, Tony Stowers with band director Daniel Dunn. Big, big week for the band. Big day for the Leopard Cross Country team uh, today over at Oakland in Hot Springs, Greg. Yeah, they did a great job. The girls ended up placing third, and the boys came in fifth overall. So congratulations to them. Uh, the conference winning uh, Leopard and Lady Leopards placing third and fifth in the state cross-country meet today. Congratulations to the coaches as well, uh, Coach uh, Dennis Cheney and Coach uh, Chad Lotz uh, coaching the cross-country teams. We had a couple of kids qualify for state, too. I, I didn't catch their names, did you? But uh, I had a boy no, and a girl. No, I, I, I'm sorry. I don't know that. Well, we'll try to get that information for you before the sports uh, tomorrow. Uh, on the on the radio. So here we're back live team seventy three halftime show. Memberships available ninety nine dollars a year. It covers everyone in your household. Visit Airy Back Live Team seventy three on Facebook or call Lori White at eight seven zero nine two five one two six nine. We'll be back for the second half kickoff following this three minute timeout. Your best life begins with your healthiest life. At Baptist Health, you'll find the comprehensive care you need for every person in your family. From pediatrics to primary care to women's health, we're equipped to partner with you in every phase of your wellness journey. You'll also find Baptist Health locations and clinics across the state, ensuring we're always there for you when and where you need us. Learn more about the state's most trusted name in healthcare, locate a clinic, find a provider and more at baptist-health.com. Ivan Smith Furniture carries the most popular brands to create comfortable and stylish living spaces. From special orders on your favorite brands to accessories, appliances, and mattresses, rest easy knowing Ivan Smith has you covered. Visit our website, ivansmith.com, and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Ivan Smith Nashville. We invite you to stop by and experience the service you deserve. Located in the Furniture Corner in downtown Nashville, let us help you bring it home with Ivan Smith Furniture. Did you know that Weyerhaeuser is the largest private landowner in the United States and among the largest private providers of outdoor recreational opportunities in the world? With millions of acres in the U.S., our recreational lease program offers outdoor enthusiasts a vast resource for getting out and enjoying nature. For more information, visit our website at Weyerhaeuser.com.
Your best source for lumber and building materials is Bailey Discount Building Supply in Dequeen. Bailey offers paint and stain, hardware, plumbing, electrical, cabinets, and vanities, concrete steps, and even generators, and Cajun cookers. Literally everything that you'll need for your next building project. And you'll also experience the best customer service anywhere. That's Bailey Discount Building Supply. Visit them at 880 East Collin Ray Drive in Dequeen or call them 870-642-2851. I'm Stacy Dowdy, CNO of the Sevier County Medical Center, and I'm here to say our new hospital is here for you. The Sevier County Medical Center has 15 inpatient care unit beds and 10 emergency beds, but also provides a range of routine and quality health care services. We offer imaging and radiology services, respiratory therapy, and lab services, as well as outpatient therapy to help you recover and enjoy life to the fullest. Our specialty clinic is now open as well with a focus on interventional cardiology. Find out more about the Sevier County Medical Center at sevierCountyMedical.com or visit us in person. It's football time again, and Farmers Bank and Trust is ready to help you through this season of life. From My Start Savings Accounts to School Spirit, with the Snapchat filters, Farmers Bank and Trust is here to cheer your family on. Find us in Queen. Welcome to Farmers Bank of Queen. Or any location and come home to Farmers Bank. To learn more, go to myfarmers.bank or stop by a branch today. Farmers Bank and Trust, member FDIC, equal housing, lender. 45 to 7, Texarkana leads the Queen as we're moments away from the second half uh, kickoff here on senior night. And uh, Greg, you uh, did a little research with Riley Smith, and uh, you guys came up with who those uh, all state uh, cross country performers yeah, were. Today. Yeah, my research was to ask her to do it. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's how I got it. But Delegate. Yeah, that's right. All state performers for the Leverage Lady Leopards today at the cross country meet. Randy Rodriguez for the boys and Alyssa Neal for the girls. All right. Congratulations to them and to the entire team, to both of them, for the fine performance today and all year. So the Leopards will kick off to start the second half, and we're going to have a fast-moving second half with the clock running continuously as the sportsmanship rule has been invoked. Leopards going to kick it short, and, boy, they come down with a little authority. It's it's kind of encouraging to see. Actually, we'll hit a young man in the <laughs> Yeah. Uh, well, I didn't see a flag, so. Uh, oh, that's right. On a uh, pretty smart oh, move to try to be. call a fair catch, but that, that's a free <laughs> kick there on a bounce. And uh, anyway, Texarkana recovers at the, uh, they're going to put it down at the 46 yard line. Yeah. And- for anybody that cares, Jay, uh, Tennessee and the Steelers are tied at ten. All right, here we go. How about those Rangers last night? Ah, what a what a win! That we've waited a lifetime for that. <laughs> a lifetime. Bruce Pochi. All right, they're going to run the ball this time. Coming out of there with it Holden. will be number twenty-three, and a flag flies. Ball carrier Colby Lewis, I believe. And they're getting up four pitches off to number 23, Lewis. Or was that a pass, Tony? The, no, the it, was a line. it was it was a handoff. It's all coming back. Play, holding yep. the oh, the flags behind the line. Okay, so they'll mark it off from the line That's of scrimmage. That's going to be a 10-yard penalty against the Razorbacks. Well, might see some more freshmen here in the second half, Greg. We saw Luis Sotelo get a couple of carries in the first half. Yeah, I just wondered if make sure his ankle's okay. You know, I thought he might give Soto a little more of a break. John Maturino, the quarterback, led the Cubs in tackles defensively. Inside and off. For short yardage, defended well by the Leopards. Going to be a pickup on the on three. The ball here is Tony Noble. That's, that's his first that's carry of the night. Jake Martin, Darian Henderson, both sophomores in on that. Jake Martin had 18 tackles last week. Ulysses Cotto had 16 tackles last week. How many tackles does Tony ha- or does Ulysses have tonight? Yes, five. All right, so he's at 98 for the season. You'd like to see him top that century mark. Some bars in there now at quarterback as Nate Wall, their starter, was injured late in the first half. Good ball. tackle by Munoz. Yeah, ball carrier is Noble, and he's in the backfield for a loss of a yard. 
They played any better than he did at that time, Greg, crashing in there from his quarterback spot. Did a good job hitting down around the ankle, just wrapped him up, brought him down. I think a third down and about 18, 17, third and 17. Dunbar is in the pistol. Noble lines up to his right. Actually, Noble is just a freshman. He's going to be flushed out of the pocket, and he's going to run. He's got lots of green grass ahead of him, or turf, I should say. Leopard's going to chase him out of bounds at the 46-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 15 yards, but he needed 17. Let's see what the Razorbacks select to do here at the DeQueen 46-yard line. It's like they're going for. And leave the offense in there. Down to eight. 25 to go in the third quarter. Game out of reach. Texas Cannon leading 45 to 7. Leopards play, playing for pride here in the second half. Dunbar hands off to Noble. He falls forward and he'll have the first down. Down to about the 42 yard line. Henderson. Martin on the tackle again. That'll move the chains. Eight first down of the night for the Razorbacks at the DeQueen 41 yard line. 42 yard line. Dunbar in their quarterback playing for the injured wall. Dunbar is a junior, so he'll likely be the starter next year. Dunbar looks to the sidelines. We've got a whistle stopping the play. And the official, we've got illegal substitution against the Razorbacks. So that's going to cost them five. So that's going to bring up uh, first and 15. It's supposed to continue together. Now yeah, the Rangers, 11 and 0 on the road in postseason. That's just amazing, isn't it? Set a record. Adolis Garcia set a record for most RBIs in the playoffs before suffering that oblique injury. Bouncing outside is Noble. He has running room. He's inside the 40 down to Leopard, 39 yard line for a pickup of about eight. Bring up second down. Jake Martin along with Luke Pierce and Kyle Williamson on the tackle for the Leopards. So we move into basketball season. They've got an exhibition game against this Texarkana team. What, Tuesday night, Greg? Right? Tuesday night. That's going to be on the road. We've got an injured Razorback down. So we'll take the time out with 624 to go in the third. 45 to 7, Texarkana. We're back in one minute. Once a year, Saracen gives away a coveted BMW to one lucky winner. This month is that special time, and you could be the winner of an amazing BMW X5 SUV from Saracen Casino and BMW of Little Rock. Play to win a top-of-the-line BMW SUV only at Saracen Casino Resort. Just a short 40 minutes away, Saracen Casino is Little Rock's closest place to play and win a BMW X5 SUV. Saracen Casino Resort, Vegas, Arkansas style. Gambling problem? Call 800 522 4700. Hurry up, dude. The game's about to start. Nothing beats spending the day watching the game with your buddies. Dude, I'm literally right here. Let's do this. Which is why a shelter insurance renter's policy is key to your winning game plan. It protects things your landlord's policy doesn't. Uh, dude, where's your TV? What? Oh, no way, dude. Like that flat screen TV that just got stolen. To draft an agent for your team, See agent Jeff Woods or agency representatives Debbie Seymour, Jennifer Walker, or Christina Carver. You have questions. We have honest answers. Planning your funeral may seem like a daunting task. We know you will have many questions. We also want you to know we will answer your questions with honesty and fairness. Our prearrangement specialists will guide you through the process with compassion and dignity. Call today at 642-6461 to learn more about your options. Chandler Funeral Home of DeQueen, we're dedicated to the care of those we serve. Dunbar takes a snap, hands off to the running back coming left. He's got good running room inside the 30-yard line. 
pushes the pile forward to the number 28. The ball carrier is going to be number 28. That's uh, black. And uh, that's enough for a first down. Toto, Luke Pierce, the Aparicio on the tackle. Toto sneaking up on it. He's one away. One away from a hunter. And again, Cam Threadgill with 102 back in the 2011 season. But toss it ahead to number 12. That's going to be Mikel Watson. So it's a completed pass for Dunbar. Going to work for only about three yards, though, Greg. Yep. Mark, along with Fermio. Good job by them to stop it. Approaching the five minute mark of this third quarter. We want to thank all of our sponsors for making our broadcast possible throughout the 2023 season. Again, we'll be moving right on into basketball season starting Tuesday night. Getting the call will be Black. He's hit at the 25, dropped at the 25-yard line. That was Toto. There you go. There it is. 100 tackles on the season for Ulysses Cotto. Great year by that young man. Yes, it is. I'll tell you, he's ever good a, a, a young man he is a football player. Yeah, he is. 100 tackles on the season. That's averaging 10 per game, if my math is correct. <laughs> Most of the time. That's, that's pretty good. <laughs> that's pretty good. Not my math, but the 10 tackles per game. <laughs> Hand off straight ahead, and uh, they're going to get down to about the uh, 15 yard line. The ball carrier is uh, his helmet comes off, so he's got to come out of the game. That's number 22, Jackson Cannon. It's going to pick up enough for another first down at the 15-yard line. Martin and Luke Pierce on the tackle again. Boy, uh, Jake Martin has really turned it on here in the second half on, in the tackle column. Dunbar will toss it ahead to the ball carrier. who will get down inside the 10 to about the 9-yard line. It's actually going to be a forward pass to Colby Lewis. Going to work for six yards. It's going to bring up second down and four for a first down, nine for a touchdown as we're approaching the three-minute mark of this third quarter. Fermio, Tony. Second quarter to go for back. 45 to 7 Razorbacks trying to add on here. Dunbar in the pistol at the nine. We'll toss ahead, and the ball carrier fighting for the goal line going to be stopped just short. The ball carrier will be Watson again. He's going to pick up about eight yards. That's going to be a forward pass, I believe, right, Tony? That's correct. Jake Martin on the tackle again. It'll be enough for a first down, and Arkansas High. Knocking on the door, first and goal to go at the DeQueen one-yard line. I don't think they're going to throw it now, do you, Tony? <laughs> I do not. They may do a shuffle pass. They may. Dunbar hands off to number 18, who's hitting the backfield and drops. The ball. Or did he score on that play? We got a flag in the back of the end zone after the play. As Romino for it. Ramiro Pahina. And that time. Yeah. Okay. So that's going to be a loss of two. The ball carrier was 18. Correct. Okay. His first carry of the night and of the year, Landon Groves, goes for minus two. So the Leopard defense trying to hold him out here. Sort out this penalty. As the Razorbacks give ground, it would appear. Still no signal from the referee. Hmm. The line of scrimmage is the three as the running back Groves was dropped for a loss of two. Unsportsmanlike conduct against Arkansas High after the play. Well, That'll be a costly penalty. The end of the run was the three-yard line, so that's going to move it out to the 18 as Arkansas High coach Trey Outlaw calls his team to the sidelines. 
Arkansas High penalized eight times for 75 yards. Are they going to call a timeout or not? Now yeah, they are. All right. Timeout Leopards. Timeout on the field with a minute one to go in the third quarter. 45 to 7 at Texarkana. We're back in one minute. College dreams come true at the University of Central Arkansas, especially now with the UCA commitment. This new program provides a debt-free pathway for tuition and fees for Arkansas students whose families earn $100,000 or less a year. And that impacts everything. It's fewer barriers and endless opportunities. Welcome to Bear Country. Learn more about the UCA commitment at uca.edu. Simmons Bank, nominated by Forbes magazine as a top U.S. bank, takes great pride in investing in our friends and neighbors. For more than 100 years, we've worked to make our customers' dreams come true, earning trust with convenient and reliable financial tools, checking in savings accounts, home and consumer loans, small business loans, and low-rate credit cards. Wherever you are on your financial journey, we're there with you every step of the way. Simmons Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender, subject to credit approval. Following the timeout, 15 yards stepped off against the Razorbacks. That'll move the football back to the 18-yard line. They had a first and goal at the one, Greg. Now they're looking at second down and goal from the 18. Should be third, shouldn't it? That came after the play. Came after first down. Well, no, he, he ran one play for minus two, and then yeah. they called the penalty yeah. at the conclusion of that play. Yeah. yeah. Still got a huddle over there. Uh, the they've, been, they've been over there for five, ten minutes. I don't know what the coach is doing. He got on the ground. He didn't act like he was too happy with that unsportsmanlike conduct penalty, not with the officials. He was unhappy with his team. Yeah. Up 45 to 7. That's the last thing he wanted to do. A Dunbar and the offense comes back out there lining up. To his right is it Xavier Crawford, and Crawford will get the call. And he's going to be tackled. Cotto. Ulysses Cotto at 101. As Crawford will pick up about a yard down to the 17th yard line, which brings up third down. Again, looking through our research on tackles, uh, Cam Threadgill was credited with 102 stops in the 2011 campaign. And he did that in 12 games. We had a couple of playoff games that year. As we've come to the end of the third quarter, and Cotto sitting at 101 with 12 minutes of football to go. 45-7, to 7, Arkansas High. We're back in 90 seconds. Are you ready for fiber to the home internet service? Four States Fiber is in the process of building a network to reach every Southwest Arkansas Electric Cooperative member. Bringing one gig fiber internet service to homes and businesses with unlimited data, free installation, and no contracts. From high school sports to the hogs to the pros, stay in the action as you stream your team to victory. Visit fourstatesfiber.com and click on check availability for more information. Four States Fiber, internet service you can be happy about. About. Fourth quarter presented by Arkansas Army National Guard. A college education is important in today's market, but many students and parents wonder how they will be able to afford it. The Arkansas Army National Guard offers 100% college tuition pay, as well as a $50,000 student loan payment and a monthly salary and benefits. With Arkansas Army National Guard, you can be a hometown hero. Support your community part-time close to home just one weekend a month and get an education without going into debt. Take the next step to start your future. The next greatest generation is now. Call Antonio Soto at 870-279-0353 to find out more. And off another stop by Kono, I believe. Correct. Number 28, Black, dropped at the line of scrimmage. He's got 102 tackles on the season now. You know, the Leopards didn't get a snap offensively that third quarter, Greg. Got another flag. Texarkana took the second half kickoff at their own 46. Yeah. They've run 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 plays. He got down to the one-yard line. But then uh, penalties have plagued them. 
We've got a timeout on the field. Trying to figure out what to do with this penalty. The ball up at the 17-yard line. Arkansas High returns to the field. They're going to step it off against the Razorbacks. It'll be another 15-yard penalty. All the way back to the 32 for the first foul penalty. I suppose that's correct. Nine penalties for 90 yards now for Arkansas High. They got an extra yard on that one. <laughs> they sure did. <laughs> I, did I wondered if you saw that. They had a first and goal at the one. And now it's fourth and goal from the 33. Two unsportsmanlike conduct penalties. Well, Leopards uh, don't want to give up a chunk play here, Greg. No, I'll just try to keep them out of the end zone. Two receivers split out to each side. Meanwhile, the clock just continues to run. Leopards don't get a chance to run any plays. From the 33, we're going to have another timeout. Whistle, Razorbacks. Timeout, Hogs, with 9.54 to play. 45 to 7, Texarkana. We're back in one minute. Not only is Pilgrims a good employer and a top notch corporate citizen, employing over 1,400 employees locally and 322 contract growers in Sevier and surrounding counties. In fact, the total economic impact that Pilgrims has in southwest Arkansas is over $80 million annually. With the processing plant in Queen and the feed mill and hatchery in Nashville, Pilgrims is a good corporate citizen. Apply today at the HR office in Queen. Pilgrims is an equal opportunity employer. Southwest Arkansas Accounting Services, formerly Revels and Company CPA, is the same great people offering you the same great services, just under a new name. Go see Sandra and Fernando for all your accounting needs and questions at 990 Highway 70 East in Queen. They're about more than just the numbers. They're about helping people get it right. Personalized service that their clients expect and deserve. Bilingual services are always available at Southwest Arkansas Accounting Services. Phone them at 642-5900. Leopards come on the blitz, and uh, Texas County just threw the ball at the feet of a couple of oncoming Leopard offensive or defensive linemen. They're trying to set up a screen that time, Greg, but that was pretty ugly. <laughs> well, and, and actually, they should put the ball right there because that's a that's a you know, that's intentional ground. Intentional ground. It's got to be, and that ball should be right where they didn't get back to the line of scrimmage and went when the receiver within a country mile. Nope. You know, the, and. Uh, uh, Bahina is uh, probably going to get credit for his first pass defended as of his uh, high school career. Yeah. <laughs> That's Ramiro Bahina. That's, That's right. right. That's, That's right. right. Not John John. All right. Getting the call will be uh, Luke Pierce, and he'll wedge it out to about the 35 yard line. Tough yards. Two on the play second and eight. Second and eight to go. The well, the Leopard seniors, Luke Pierce. Try to run down these guys. Jonathan Bahina, Donovan Esther, Jackson Van Winkle, who's injured. Fernando Aparicio, Jared Munoz, Luke Pierce, Angel Gonzalez. We'll look at the rest in a moment. And uh, the ball carrier is going to get across the 35, up to about the 37-yard line. That's going to be... A senior, Donovan Esther, on the carry. Where did we leave off? We left off at uh, Angel Gonzalez, I believe. So, Andy Garcia, Gareth Tetero, Julio Sotelo, Will Collins, Ramiro Bahina, Logan Chandler, all seniors playing in their final game. Number 35 for the left. Jay, do you have it? Do you have it? 35 is going to be a ninth grader, I believe. Is that uh, Maturino? Maybe. Yes, it is. John Maturino. Yeah. He's playing wide receiver. Okay. Ball carrier Pierce is going to get about a yard up to the 37-yard line. We've got another injury on the field. That stops the clock with 7.39 to play. 45-7. to 7. Texarkana, we're back in one minute. 
Buy one, get one for a dollar at McDonald's. Or as we like to call it, the can't have just one deal. Mix and match a flaky sausage biscuit, savory sausage McMuffin, sausage McGriddles, or crispy hash browns. Want two sausage biscuits? Buy one, get one for a dollar. Want a sausage biscuit and hash browns? That's cool too. Choose more of what you love. Buy one, get one for a dollar at McDonald's. Prices and participation may vary. Valid for item of equal or lesser value. You cannot be combined with combo meal. There's never been a better time to buy a new car, truck, or SUV than now at Gentry Chevrolet. With APRs as low as 1.9 on nearly everything in stock, like a 2023 Chevy Silverado at just 1.9 APR with approved credit and up to 42.50 in rebates. Come see the new arrivals of 2023 and 24 models. Take a test drive and let the great folks at Gentry Chevrolet help you in finding the right vehicle for your needs and style. Gentry Chevrolet, 1027 Highway 70 East in Queen. For a look at what's new, visit Gentry Chevy Inc. Dot com or check them out on Facebook. Leopard's going to go for it on fourth and five, and the quarterback's going to keep it. He fumbles the football at the 41 yard line. Leopard's with three first half turnovers. The Leopard's got on it, but he's going to be short of the first down, so it's going to be irrelevant. So the ball carrier that time was who, Tony? That was uh, Bing Finkley. Toto recovered the fumble. So give Binkley three yards, but the Leopards are going to turn it over on downs with 7.05 to go in the game. Well, after oh, we played really, really well last week at Magnolia, I kind of had my hopes up here tonight to Greg, but yeah, um, me too. Well, me too, but we just, you know, everything went wrong that could go wrong at the start of the day. So. Yep. Like you said, we, we ended the year just like we started. I mean, you know, what happened to us at Meenan, the same thing happened to us here in the first quarter. First and 10 Razorbacks at the 41. Dunbar back in their quarterback. A couple of running backs to each side of it. We look to the lines. Meanwhile, the clock continues to run down to 6.15 to play. No scoreboard show tonight, but we will have it on the air tomorrow night, 10 or midnight. End off to number 18, and he has running room. 30 down the far sidelines, finally upended the 20 uh, yard line. Pick up a 21 for Landon Graves and another Razorback first down. Brought down by Jacob Lugo, sir. Well, there's a lot of football talent in Texarkana, Greg. You look at Pleasant Grove, Texas High, Liberty Allo. All those teams are ranked yeah. in Texas. Do they still play the Arkansas High, Texas High? They do. Borderline rivalry? Yeah. And I, somebody told me today that Arkansas High beat them badly this year. Really? Yeah. I think that is correct. 56 to nothing is what they told me. Huh. First and 10 from the 20. And off to Graves again, running left. He'll be hauled down at about the 14 yard line. We'll bring up second down and four. He's Don't forget it's Arkansas and Florida. From Gainesville, Saturday at 11 o'clock, airtime 8 o'clock Saturday morning. <laughs> Right here on your number one country, 92.1. Yeah, you know, these Razorbacks started hotter than a pistol, man. They they beat Arkadelphia. They beat Texas High. And uh, they were raising a lot of eyebrows in the conference early on. And then just something happened in the middle of their schedule. They played part. Yeah, part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that'll, that'll slow a lot of things down. <laughs> Graves again. Short yardage this time as a leopard defense stiffens. Graves on the field. Graves after only about a yard. Bahina and Henderson there. Yes. Down to four minutes to play. I think Cotto has 101. Tony, we got him for eight tackles tonight. I have him for nine tackles. So he's, he's a 102 right now. 102. He's going to get past Camp Threadgill's 102 in the 2011 season. And then I don't know how we would find out how many tackles 
would be beyond that because that's when Tony started standing for us. <laughs> and I didn't keep tackles all those years. There's Kodo. Oh, wow, what a play. Ulysses Kodo will drop the graves for a loss of four. That's a loss of yardage. Wow. So he's got 103 now. Talking with Coach Bell, you know, he's a middle linebacker in that 98 state runners up the season. And I, I want to say he got close to 150 tackles. But, uh, of course, they played 10 ball games. Yeah, and 10 ball games. Yeah, over 100 tackles is quite an accomplishment. Yes, it is. It's all I can do, just keep up with <laughs> offensive stats. So, uh, until Tony came along, we didn't have any defensive stats. A uh, handoff to number 27, and he turns the corner, and he's into the end zone. With a touchdown, 16-yard run. That's going to be Lee Smith. There's a senior that doesn't get to play all the time. Yep, that's his first carry of the year. But he gets a 16-yard run. And, you know, I'm okay with that. You give a senior the football that hadn't carried it all year, I'm okay with that. That's right. So the Razorbacks will attempt the extra point. Fox continues to run now down to the two-minute mark. I hope we hear Arkansas fight as much tomorrow as we've heard. Yeah. do. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Still waiting for the extra point. The play clock's at 10. Now they're set. Boya puts it up and puts it through. And it's 52 to 7, Texarkana. Back for the kickoff in one minute. Arkansas High, 52 points. Accidents happen. Ricky's Body Shop can repair your dings or accident damage with results that speak for themselves. Ricky's Body Shop makes it easy, affordable, and reliable. They accept all insurances. You have a choice when it comes to repairing your vehicle, regardless of where your insurance company recommends. Plus professional home, auto, and commercial glass repair and replacement. It's Ricky's Body Shop, Lakeside Drive in DeQueen, 870-642-2811. Your business is up against a lot of things these days. Inflation costs, workforce issues, federal overreach, the list of things keeping you up at night keeps getting longer. The Arkansas State Chamber Associated Industries of Arkansas is here to help. We are constantly working to improve the business climate and make Arkansas as competitive as possible. The Arkansas State Chamber Associated Industries of Arkansas works tirelessly for your business so you can rest easy. Join us today. Well, we're down to 25 seconds to go. The clock continues to run. Our final score is going to be Texarkana 52, the Queen 7. As they'll kick it deep, it bounces around and rolls out of bounds. 10 seconds. And the Leopards aren't going to have the opportunity to get off another play. So, your final score is Texarkana 52, the Queen 7, and our post-game show is going to be brought to you by Body Temple Massage and Wellness. And to help us out, the one and only, Raleigh Smith. Thank you for that introduction, Jason. As you said, this post-game show is presented by Body Temple Massage and Wellness, where attention and trust come to rest. Licensed massage therapist Tammy Chauvert offers therapeutic deep tissue, Swedish relaxation, massage, assisted stretching services, and holotherapy, which is used in the treatment of respiratory disorders, skin conditions like acne, collagen rejuvenation, and more. You can find Body Temple Massage and Wellness beside the Deep Queen Health and Wellness Building at 137 at 1357 West Colliery Drive in Deep Queen. For more information, call Sammy at 870-784-7292. Thank you, think, you, guys. What do you think about that, Tony? Well, I'm wondering if she's replacing me or Greg. That's, that's the only thing I'm wondering at this point. 
<laughs> I believe that's the first time we've read that liner correctly all year. <laughs> that's because I've been reading it all year. She did a wonderful job. I'm done. All right. Good job, Riley Smith. And our postgame show brought to you by Body Temple Massage and Wellness. 52 to 7 Razorbacks. We'll be back after this three minute timeout. If you've ever bought or sold a home, farm, or business, you know how important it is to have an experienced professional on your side to handle the closing. The Queen Abstract has been making real estate transactions go smooth for many, many years. Whether you're buying, selling, or refinancing, trust the Queen Abstract Company. I do. Proud supporter of the Queen Athletics, Queen Abstract Company. Call them at 870-642-2533. Here at First State Bank, we've been serving the area since 1973. We're local, just like you, and being local means we make local decisions too. We're here to serve you quickly so you can spend your time wisely and not in line. Now that's just one of the many benefits you get when you bank with a local community bank. Bank at home with us at First State Bank. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Today comes only once. It is a day of opportunity. What is done with this day will play a big part in determining the future. I am Renata Jenkins Baller with Roller Funeral Homes. That is a pretty bold statement, but a true one nevertheless. Because every day is filled with opportunities taken or missed. At Roller Funeral Homes, we look at each day as an opportunity to prove ourselves worthy of the trust that you have put in us for so many years. Roller Funeral Homes, with all our respect. DeQueen Auto Group has a full line of rental vehicles to suit any need. They carry full-size cars, minivans, SUVs, trucks, and passenger vans. Their roomy 12 and 15 passenger vans are perfect for family and church trips or sporting events. They also have reasonable price vehicles for insurance claims. Call their rental department at DeQueen Auto Group, 870-642-3604, option 6 for details. DeQueen Auto Group, proud sponsors of this year's Leopard Sports Broadcast. Podcast. For more than 70 years, the Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas's vision has mirrored our vision. Tackle any obstacle to deliver reliable, affordable power to our Kansans. Our 17 electric distribution cooperatives have more than 60% of our state covered. Our team of over 2,000 employees work day and night providing power to more than half a million homes, farms, businesses, and of course, your hometown football field. The Electric Cooperatives of Arkansas, powering the thrill of Friday Night Lights. Sevier County Housing Authority, with offices at 304 South 13th Street in Queen, is providing good, safe, and affordable housing. Sevier County Housing Authority has 111 apartments in Queen, Horatio, and Lodgsburg. These apartments feature central heat and air, and a stove and refrigerator are furnished. All applicants are screened, and income limits apply. For more information, stop by the Sevier County Housing Authority office at 304 South 13th Street in Queen, or call 642-2960. That's the most since I've Final been score, six are kind of 52 to Queen 7 on the Body Temple Massage and Wellness postgame show. Let's go down on the field now with Tony. Uh, Coach uh, Bell, I got Coach Bell here. I, you know, Coach uh, kind of got behind the eight ball on the turnovers. There was no quit in your team, though. They went out and played hard against a good football team. Yeah, uh, like I said before half, you know, that first 12, 13 minutes was not the way we wanted it to go. It, you know, everything went the wrong way. But like I said, once we calmed down and started playing football, you know, boys drove down the field and scored. They always play hard. They always got, you know, uh, uh, everybody's best interest in heart when they play. They love each other. They play hard for each other. They're all, got, they're all in tears right now because they love it so much. And that's what makes me love my job so much. Well, this this team is truly a family, and that, uh, Coach, is a tribute to you. Well, I, I really appreciate it, but it's a tribute to these boys. Uh, uh, the reason why I do this job is because of these boys. And, and being out here every day with them and saying how much they enjoy it makes me enjoy it even more. you got a really good one right here next to you. Uh, Ulysses Cotto, again, I think he went into the game with 93 tackles, and uh, I'm pretty sure he broke the 100 mark, which is a huge deal. He actually and, he actually has 103, which is the most since I've been keeping stats of the coin. Well, I, I can tell you one thing. Uh, he plays both sides of the ball for us. I mean, he, he runs the ball 20, 30 times a game, and then uh, you know, averages over 10 tackles a game at 16 last week. And it's a kid that you can always count on. He's always going to bust your butt for him. All right. Thanks, Coach. Yep. I got Ulysses here beside of me, and uh, Ulysses, I, uh, uh, <laughs> Ulysses goes to my church, so Ulysses had some insight of how many tackles he needed tonight, <laughs> and you got him. You got 10 tonight. Uh, give you 103 for the season. 
you've got a high motor, and, and that motor is not always evident. You, some, you see a very relaxed kid, very easy going, but you go on the football field and you turn it on. Where does that come from? I don't know. I just, I just there's a little demon in me that wants to play some football, and I, I guess, I, I guess that demon comes out when, when I step on that field and put that helmet on. Well, and uh, uh, the ten tackles tonight did put you at 103. But you, I know you're going to give uh, your teammates a lot of credit too. Yeah, I mean, having teammates is is a big deal. I wouldn't have 103 tackles without teammates. One versus 12 is not very fair. I mean, I wouldn't have nowhere near close to 103 if I didn't have any teammates on that field with me tonight. Lisa, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, Ulysses Cotto and. Uh, Best thing about that is, Tony, we get that young man back next year. That's exactly right. Uh, top of that tackle chart is uh, full of underclassmen. Yep, yep. So, rider days ahead for Leopard football. We'll be back with more post game. Brought to you by Body Temple Massage and Wellness. Texarkana wins it 52 to 7. We're back after this three minute timeout. Wilkerson Funeral Home, proud to be a sponsor of this Leopards broadcast. Just like the Leopards, Wilkerson Funeral Home has always been a proud, strong part of our community. For years, the Wilkerson family has been serving families in southwest Arkansas. They understand that each family member and every life remembered are uniquely different from any other. Putting families first and ensuring that each life is properly honored is their promise to you. Wilkerson Funeral Home, dependable and professional service since 1929. Supporting the Dequeen Leopards, it's a Wilkerson Funeral Home. At Ibel National Bank, we encourage you to use your skills to make a positive impact in your community through volunteerism. A world of kindness comes from people just like you who care by volunteering. Community service is so important to us at Idabel National Bank. And working together, we can make our dreams become a reality. Idabel National Bank, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Texarkana wins it by a final score of 52 to 7 on senior night. Normally, we'd like to go with the senior, but by goodness, you just can't ignore the uh, performance that Ulysses Cotto had tonight and throughout the 2023 season. Uh, Ulysses led us in rushing tonight, 17 carries for 83 yards. He scored the only touchdown for the Leopards. And uh, also, uh, as you heard in the interview a few moments ago, recorded 10 tackles defensively that gives him 103 tackles on the year and since we've been keeping tackles uh, since tony stowers arrived at dequaint uh, the most that we had had previously was 102 by cam threadgill over a 12 game season in 2011 so quite a season for that young man ulysses Cotto, and he's gonna get an extra value meal greg he certainly is he's gonna be our mcdonald's player of the game and, and for that honor he's gonna get an extra value meal coupon from the fine post of mcdonald's uh, we appreciate all they do all year long for leopard athletics not only football basketball softball track uh baseball all year long they support all our athletics post game show brought to you by body temple Massage and Wellness next to DeQueen Health and Wellness Pharmacy on Collin Ray Drive in DeQueen. For an appointment, call Sammy Joe Verts at 870-784-7292. We're going to wrap it up from Leopard Stadium and wrap it up for the 2023 football season after this final timeout. I'm Rex Nelson. People travel to Arkansas to experience its natural beauty. We even market ourselves as the natural state. Our landscapes not only make this state exciting to visit, but a wonderful place to live. Not to mention the positive impact tourism has on our economy. It's our responsibility to keep our environment litter-free. Let's do our part to keep it beautiful. Visit KeepArkansasBeautiful.com to get involved. This message brought to you by this station, the Arkansas Broadcasters Association, and the Keep Arkansas Beautiful Commission. At the D-Queen Church of Christ, we have made youth and families our number one priority. Justin and Sarah Stewart serve as our children's ministers, and Michael and Caitlin Collins lead our teams. In addition to Bible study, our young people go on many trips, including fun activities, retreats, camps, and youth rallies. If you want to get your young person involved in a vibrant youth group that will bring them closer to Jesus, we would love to see you this Sunday at 1015 a.m. Or check out our website at dqcoc.com. 
Over the past century, Diamond Bank has worked hard to provide our customers with the best in financial services. We're proud to call the Queen home and enjoy serving the community any way we can. When it comes to financing, let our experienced loan officers help you purchase, refinance, or remodel your home, fix up your rental property, expand, or begin a new business. Whatever the need, our financial team will be there for you. Diamond Bank, Colin Ray Drive in DeQueen. Online at diamondbank.com. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Legendary coach Paul Bear Bryant from Fordyce, Arkansas once said, it's not the will to win that matters. Everyone has that. It's the will to prepare to win that matters. Congratulations to all the players and coaches who have put in the hours in the summer, in the weight room, in the film room, and on the practice field. I'm Congressman Bruce Westerman, and I approve this message because high school athletics prepares for victories on and off the field. Paid for by Westerman for Congress. With the low cash and carry prices and the huge selection of items you need for building and home improvements, shopping at Bailey Discount Building Supply in Queen is fun. It's no wonder that Bailey's has customers from Mena, Nashville, Ashdown, even Texarkana and Hot Springs. Bailey's is your one-stop shopping spot for hardware, lumber, plumbing, paint, and much more at everyday low prices. So get your shopping list together for home improvements and see Bailey Discount Building Supply in Queen. Hi, I'm Lori House, CEO of Sevier County Medical Center. I want to take this moment to extend our gratitude to the community for their continued support of our new and greatly needed hospital, to our Board of Governors and Quorum Court, and to our patients and all of those who help pass the hospital sales tax measure. Thank you for your support of Sevier County Medical Center. We are a community-centered health care facility with a goal of ensuring the health and well-being of Sevier County and all of Southwest Arkansas. Thank you for helping us make our community both stronger and healthier. It's football time again, and Farmers Bank and Trust is ready to help you through the season of life. From My Start Savings Accounts to School Spirit, with those Snapchat filters, Farmers Bank and Trust is here to cheer your family on. Find us in Queen. Welcome to Farmers Bank of Queen. Or any location and come home to Farmers Bank. To learn more, go to myfarmers.bank or stop by a branch today. Farmers Bank and Trust, member FDIC, equal housing, lender. What does it feel like to know it matters to others how you're doing? What's weighing on your mind? That you're happy right now. That your body's healthy. And that those around you are taken care of too. Arkansas Blue Cross and Blue Shield has been taking care of Arkansans for more than 70 years. Providing health insurance and peace of mind. So you and the ones you love can live your best life your whole life long. Take good care, Arkansas. Ivan Smith Furniture carries the most popular brands to create comfortable and stylish living spaces. From special orders on your favorite brands to accessories, appliances, and mattresses, rest easy knowing Ivan Smith has you covered. Visit our website, ivansmith.com, and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Ivan Smith Nashville. We invite you to stop by and experience the service you deserve. Located in the Furniture Corner in downtown Nashville, let us help you bring it home with Ivan Smith Furniture. Think New Year model for your next ride with an auto loan from RRCU. Now is a great time to pre-qualify for your auto loan from RRCU with great rates and flexible terms. Apply online at rrcu.com with approved credit rate and term based on year model amount, finance, and credit score. Think New Year model for your next ride with an auto loan from RRCU, federally insured by NCUA. Jay, Greg, and Tony back at Leopard Stadium. Texarkana wins the finale, 52-7. to Our postgame show brought to you by Body Temple Massage and Wellness, where tension and stress come to rest. And, boy, Greg, it just seems like yesterday we were opening up the season on a hot, hot night up at uh, Bearcat Stadium in Mina. Just kind of flew by, as it always seems to do. It really did, and I want to – just thank you for allowing me to do this with you. I appreciate it so much. You and Tony are, are great friends, and and no matter the scores, I always love doing it. Uh, we've had a great time. Uh, always want to see the Leopards win, but uh, it, it's still a privilege to get to do it with you and Tony. Well, I think the program's on the right track, don't you, Greg, with uh, Richard Bell. The main thing we need is some continuity. I mean, we've had four coaches now in five seasons, I think, 
Coach Bell is committed to do this long term, and that that's the first step. Yeah, I think so. I think there's two things about Coach Bell. Well, actually three. Uh, one is that continuity, that long-term uh, commitment that he's got. Secondly, his willingness to go down to the third and fourth grade and, and be there with those peewee teams and, and get them used to him. He know They know who he is. They're running what kind of offense and defense he wants to run, so they're used to it. So they know those terms when they get up there. They're not learning something new all the time. And then thirdly, I want to tell you something. I, I believe that if you – dressed coach bell out he'd go out there and play a full game tonight oh yeah and and his that that energy is infectious i mean i think that's why the leopards play the way they play all year long i mean you know they could have quit yeah anytime and and, you know and probably nobody even blamed them but uh, but he his energy is so infectious and it just keeps them pumped up and going all year long and and that's going to pay off in the long run yeah, I agree totally, Greg. You know, we we've had some really crippling injuries this year, and I think it's a the kids are having fun because you know when you get an injury and you're zero and nine, zero and eight, whatever, mm-hmm. it's like, well, I don't think I'll go out and finish this. I'll just ride out the season. But these kids battling to get back out here and and finish the year. We only had two kids out tonight with a serious injury. So they, they all want to come back and finish the season and play. And I think that's a testament to not only their character, but also the coaching staff. Yeah, it, it really is. And, and you know, uh, just to, to, uh, to mention one thing about the injuries, I, there were a couple of kids tonight that, that uh, you know, we didn't see any after uh, Lance Wise one took a big hit on a kickoff and, and we didn't see him anymore and hope he's doing okay. And then also, uh, Luis Sotelo, uh, the freshman that came in and ran a few plays, but you know, and I and it could have been because uh, Cotto was running so hot, you know, but we didn't see him anymore, you know, and he'd been injured some as a uh, you know, during the junior high season. I'm just hoping he's okay too. Well, big day for the DeQueen cross country uh, teams again, Greg. Our girls finished third in state, our boys finished fifth in the state. I had a couple of all-state uh, performers at Oakland Park today. Do you remember those names offhand there? Yeah, Rodriguez and Alyssa Neal. Okay, congratulations to those two. And uh, both the girls and boys finished top five in the uh, state cross-country meet at Oakland. And we're not going to take much of a break. Right? You and Tony are going to roll right into basketball season. And I know you're super excited about the upcoming basketball season. I really am excited. You know, we had the coaches at Rotary last Monday, and uh, I think they're really excited about it. And, and you know, uh, of course, uh, you know, I've got I've got a little bit vested interest in the girls' team. And, and I, those young girls that played in, in junior high last year are, are moving up, and, and I, I'm really interested to see what they're going to do in the next two or three years. And I, this is going to be the start of it. They've got – some good girls that are, were already coming back, and then you put them on that team, they're going to have so much more depth than they've ever had. And I think that's going to be – or had in a long time, excuse me. And I think that's going to be a difference now. There's a lot of good teams in their conference. Yep. And, and so it's going to be fun. And, you know, Tony and I, not much of a break. We're going to start Tuesday night with the exhibition game down at Arkansas High. So if you, if you want to listen to basketball, we'll be on Tuesday night at 6 o'clock. So – it, it uh, uh, you know, just be there. And one other thing I want to mention real quick before we leave. We talked about the cross country team. We didn't mention the band again. Right. And I want to just congratulate them on their their first place competition and also being tenth in in five A overall. Yep. Yep. Great performance by Daniel Dunn and the band members. And uh, one of the, and I tell you what, if your granddaughter Ellie can uh, have as good a basketball season as she can. Uh, peddling those 50 50 <laughs> raffle tickets she made a haul up here in our booth but yeah she did pretty good at that yeah we had to teach her how to do it but she got it done she? she figured it out and i know we want to thank all of our dq tv uh colleagues as well uh who we got we got kenley here kenley martinez where are you going to college kenley have you, you narrowed it down to three yet um it's out of university of arkansas fayetteville euler in arkansas state Okay, and we, Greg and I decided early on that you're going to take care of our health care needs when we get a little older. I am. And then Penelope back at our studios is going to be our attorney. 
So uh, Seth, we y'all got to sue me. <laughs> <laughs> Penelope, you got to sue Kinley for us now. <laughs> All right. And, of course, Riley Smith doing a great job on the controls. Bo McCaslin, that's another award-winning group at uh, DeQueen High School. You guys did pretty good at that Ozark uh, Festival, didn't you? Thank you. Yeah, congratulations on that. So uh, we appreciate uh, you guys. And uh, the game will be archived, so you can go back and watch the game on uh, DQ TV and uh, relive tonight's action. Uh, it'll be available on YouTube. Just uh, go there and search DQ TV and pull up uh, the DeQueen game tonight. Well, we got to wrap it up. Uh, we, we have a good time at these games. It could go on all night, but uh, need to wrap it up here tonight. And uh, so for all of our broadcast crew, Penelope Sims uh, back at the studios doing a great job on the controls tonight. Uh, Tony Stowers multitasking up and down the sidelines. Uh, with uh, stats and uh, in-game interviews and reports. Greg Revel, superb as always, with his insight and analysis. I'm Jay Bunyard. Final score in the final game of the season, Texarkana 52, Texarkana 7. And we'll roll around to the 2024 season before you know it and open up against Mina here at Leopard Stadium next August. And Tony and Greg will be back with you on the, their podcast continuing through basketball season and our first basketball broadcast the exhibition games Tuesday night at Arkansas High in Texarkana. So for all of our broadcast crew, thank you for tuning in. Thank you to all of our sponsors. Uh, we'll be listing those here momentarily and I hope that you'll get an opportunity to thank them for their support of Leopard Athletics. I'm Jay Your Final score once again 52 to 7, Texarkana. Until we talk to you next time, so long, everyone. Have a great evening. The DeQueen Leopards are on the air. DeQueen Leopards football, proudly presented by Gentry Chevrolet, online at gentrychevyinc.com. Nobody beats a Gentry deal. DeQueen Auto Group, our area's Ford, Dodge, Chrysler, Jeep dealer. We're Hauser. We don't just grow trees. The Woods Agency, Shelter Insurance. Are you covered? Check with Jeff Woods. DeQueen Abstract Company. We worry about the details of real estate transactions so you don't have to. Bailey Discount Building Supply. Everything for the home builder and do-it-yourselfer. McDonald's. I'm loving it. Proud to present the Leopards Player of the Game. DeQueen Church of Christ. Love, serve, grow. Pilgrims of DeQueen. A good employer and a top-notch corporate citizen. Ricky's Body Shop.